island boy. I'm an island, island boy. boy. I'ma keep it like it's all I grind. Tell that boy you better keep his gun. Y'all gonna see it while I'm staring at the sun. Y'all be seeing it while I'm sun gazing. I will pull it like I'm super saiyan. I'm, I'm an island boy. Trying to make it with my vest on, yeah. With my gold my man. I'ma keep it like it's wang gang swang. Y'all gonna see it like it's ran through the rain. I done seen it cause the jits be lame. Y'all done been it like I been insane. Cause I'm a vapor boy. I'm a vapor boy. I'm a vapor boy. Just trying to make it. The thing fell apart when I put it on my head. I had it all set up. Change your, what's your camera angle? Where, where can we see you? Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. Okay. I can't see the back before, of your head. <laughs> before, before, before the show started, I was like, how did you get the, the liquid bottles to stick to your head? And he's like, Greek engineering. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. I decided that um, I'm going with the adult beverage tonight, and I made it way too strong. So I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I can't believe my prop fell apart. Listen, can you imagine? Can you imagine? We get a copyright infringement from those two clowns. Can you imagine? I mean, what is wrong with society, Phil? How are these boys getting paid? I, what did I say today in, in the chat with you? I said, uh, I said that we're this, our society is, 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 what did I say? How did I put it exactly? You remember? I don't remember, but we're fucked. I said, yeah, there was something like we're <laughs> fucked. And you said, but they're making, you, you said, but they're making bank. I said, yeah. And that's why we're fucked. I know, right? It's just unbelievable, man. I cannot believe. Really? Christ. I cannot believe that these people, these boys are getting, just getting paid. You know, um, there, there's something, uh, before you start the show. Yeah. Uh, I say the same thing when I'm standing in front of the toilet bowl. Yeah, do you? Yeah, the stream will be starting soon. <laughs> I know you were you were sitting on your throne right before the show as well, too. I was, I was too. <laughs> well, I don't let you know because all God forbid, God forbid, I'm in the bathroom and you go ahead and send me that Zoom link or you yeah, call that's me right. on Skype and like I'm not there, all hell's gonna break loose. I know, so I, you know, I had to tell you. Oh, I had to let you know what I was. Good doing. evening, everybody. Welcome to the DP Show. We're gonna be talking a lot, a lot today. We got a lot of stuff to cover. Um, but, but, by the way, if, if uh, maybe, well, you might want to end the show with that, too, in case nobody got here early. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm good. I'm I mean, good. The, you I'm know, good. Maybe they didn't get here early enough. I think that's, that's right. That's they can watch the replay. Um, <laughs> welcome to everybody coming from uh, Scott's show. Yeah, so, so let me tell you, this past weekend, yes. I was volunteering with my my uh, emergency response team. They had There was a marathon here in, in Florida. It was like a 20-mile marathon or whatever. So they wanted us to do uh, traffic control. So uh, I'm assigned with Walker County Sheriff's, with like three deputies, to, uh, to traffic control a big intersection where a lot of the runners are going to be running through. So I was stationed there from like 7 o'clock. I had to go at 5 uh, and do some work early. And then at 7, I started doing traffic control. I was going to do it till 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, around, so everything's going fine, right? Um, around 11.30, quarter to 12, um, the Walker County Sheriff turns to me and says, well, we got a bunch of wrecks, so we're leaving. We're just going to leave you by yourself. <laughs> so so the cops just left. I'm sitting there by myself. And, and now the runners are coming back. So they went out. And by the way, let me just – this is just a side note to the side note. Some people shouldn't run a marathon. You know, I mean, I, look, I get it if you're a runner, if that's what you do. But people that are trying to, like, prove, uh, uh, you know, something – Phil, they were coming back. Literally, the, 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 their face was like they're dying this kid, this 20-year-old kid, running right across the street. I had stopped traffic, running right across, just puke right in the middle of the street, just all water coming out of his mouth. This 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 old lady, I mean, she looked like she was having a stroke. And I'm, I am I mean, I just don't, why, why punish yourself? Like, what are you trying, you know, the Karens, you know, they're dying. And then, of course, somebody's taking a picture. They're like, yay, we're running. And they're like, uh, 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 you know, when the camera goes down. Anyway, that's you know, I, I do. I do really good with the bike. I really do really good with the walking and all that stuff. Like I could ride for a really long time. One thing I could not do, and I never, I, I, I just, you know what? Because I just don't enjoy it, is running. It's Look, right? I get it if it's your thing. What I get it if it's your thing, like if, if, if it's your thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Your thing. It's, I, running is very hard on the body, very hard on the knees, very hard. <laughs> yeah. So is so is it you being in a hotel room with me too, Boy, baby? That but that never stopped you. Wide open, wide open. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, go ahead. 
No, that's it. That's, okay, that's okay. I'm so, just so I, I, I'm just saying, like you know, I mean, I can do good on the bike, but but like running, like literally, like you said, somebody was thrown up in the middle of the street. If I ran, if I ran around the block, I would probably throw up before I made it. All yeah, the way. look, look, Brad, immediately. Oh, uh, whoa, uh, uh, welcome to the army. If you don't puke on a physical or a fitness test, then you're not in the army. I get it. If you're in the army, this guy willingly <laughs> went to run 20 miles. Is what I'm saying, Brad. Listen to me. This is why society is stupid. But anyway, so the, the guys leave, and I'm I'm. Now I'm by myself, and I have to control two streets. One street is a downhill as well, too. So when I see people approaching because they're coming out of the park and they need to cross the street, I'd stop one lane to give me plenty enough time to turn around and stop the other lane. I'm wearing yellow outfit, which is, you know, you can see it from a mile away. I got my cert hat on. I got a baton with a light on it, but it's oh, day at this tell point. Me this, please tell me this photos. I, 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 have a, I have a photo somewhere, a video. I'll, I'll send it to you. Okay. Okay. Um, but... Uh, it, 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 people don't understand basic commands like stop and go. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know where this civilization is going anymore. Phil, they oh, just don't. Good, not, like I'm, I'm looking right in their face. I got hand up. I got baton up and they're not stopping. I mean, and I'm like, are you stupid? I, I, I got to the point where I told somebody, I said, like, you, you don't understand. Stop. You're like it's, it's universal. Even if you don't speak English, stop is stop. Everybody knows stop. By the way, they gave you a um, like a crossing guard duty, like like control <laughs> of traffic. Have they ever seen you drive around in Greece? I was of course, they, I, did, I did a really really good job as well. I'm too. sure you did. I'm sure you did. Here, here's a picture of me. This is this is early in the morning. Let me see if I can put this on. Let me see. Yeah, with my radio and my light and and all that stuff out. Yeah, <laughs> you're, 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 you're adorable. You're just adorable. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, so I mean, it's just I just don't understand. And going back to these jungle boys, <laughs> whatever. How are these people becoming famous? It, I, it just it blows to my mind that these kids are getting paid like the way that they're getting paid. I'm an island, but these guys have zero like street cred in them. And all of a sudden, they're like these thugs from Cuba that do drugs and traffic cocaine, and they're rapping, and they're making money. Is that what we have to do? Do we have to get face tattoos, Phil? Listen to all the uh, Cuban cartel that are listening to this show right now. <laughs> I, I said nothing bad about this. So I think the Island Boys, I think they're fantastic. I really do. I think they're they're quite the talent. I don't know, dude. I, I just think I think it's the more outrageous and outlandish you are, the, I guess. The, the more you you attract um, a a a crowd, an audience, an audience. You know whether that be a good audience or a bad audience. Um, I, I just think you know you, you would you would you would think it would be nice if you know you're out there trying to save lives yeah, by yeah. getting people to not smoke anymore that that would attract a big audience. But you know, I guess the island boys with the dreads and the, the you know, I guess that works better. I guess. I guess so. Good evening, everybody in the chat. Uh, good evening to everybody coming over from uh, Big ST's uh, show. Michael DeHaunt, my, Phil, you recommended the 0.8M coil in a chat comment for my Z-Beep. Yeah, I like them. Finally bought a pack, says Michael. Good. Excellent. I'm, I'm happy you did. I am happy you did. I think every one of the uh, Zeniths and the Zlide that I have in front of me right now are using 0.8s. As a matter of fact, D, you know what I did? Tell I me what you did. Blue, I took a blue slide uh -huh. and I put it on your Greek mod. And you know that what? Looks, it's not horrible. It's not bad. It's not, it's not, it doesn't match perfectly. Yeah, the but blue it's is not horrible. Yeah, it's not horrible. It's not horrible. It's not horrible. It's really not. But uh, you know, it's nice having that Greek in your hand. Oh uh, boy, nothing better than having a little Greek <laughs> in your hand. <laughs> All right. We're gonna do uh this is uh, by the way, I we have I have an announcement to make real quick. Um we made a mistake <laughs> last week. <laughs> Imagine surprise, that. Surprise. So we said for the contest, whoever got closest, but I, I, looking at the replay, we did say we're going to give away three winners. Uh, who's going to come closest to the number without going over? All right? Thanks to Marshall for, for catching this. And by the way, I hope he feels better because he's under the weather. Yes. Uh, so uh, Marshall went through the chat and found that there were actually th three, four people that came close to it because two were tied. All right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you here. This is um, Captain Spicy. So the first one was Robert Rand. Mm -hmm. Robert Rand was the uh, the first one that we announced on the show. And yes. Captain Spicy 666, he came close. Oh, boy. Um, 
Brett Whitney, Brett Whitney, he came close with 666. I don't know what they think we are, the devil or something. Yeah, no. Christ. And uh, Keith Nail, Keith Nail with 650. So all th- four of you, since it was, we, we said it was going to be three, but since there was two tied it's with a, a devil. A tie. Yes. Uh, so we're going to give the two Satans one as well, too. So I'm going to give everybody a Zenith, too. All four of you, contact me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Raven Greek. I will give you all a brand new uh, Zenith uh, 2. And I apologize. Well, for, we apologize it took so long. Uh, yes. And then we apologize we didn't even know the rules of our own contest. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and speaking of speaking of it taking a long time, um, I, I am going to kick off a new contest tonight. All right. Don't give it away, though, now. Don't blow no, your I'm load. Not give it away. I'm not going to give it, give it away, give it away, give it away now. But no, I'm not going to give it away. Here's why. Because uh, it's going to take a long time. Because uh, we're going to be taking a little break here for the uh, the holiday season. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. We are. We are. I'm going to be traveling next week. We might do one more show before Christmas. Maybe do a little holiday uh, festivities uh, show. But yes. then we're going to take a break for the holidays. I'll be traveling next Tuesday. And I'll be traveling the following Tuesday as well, too. A lot of traveling. Yeah. Well, don't don't forget I'm going to uh, to Jersey to see my family, too, in, uh, in December. Too, yep. So. Yep, 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 yep. All right, just a few things to uh, a few serious things before we get into um, uh, some uh, some. Uh, we actually have some show and tell today as well too. Casa uh, has uh, kicked off a survey in uh, in uh, um, cooperation with eSig Intelligence. I will put this in the chat for you in case you haven't seen it. We'll have it, of course, in the show replay. Phil will have it in the replay. I'm gonna just it's gonna. Up on, it's up on Taste Your Juice too. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, right, I'm right gonna, now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do as we speak. Right yeah. now, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, it's up there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this real quick, so, uh, just to see how long it's gonna take. I haven't done it yet, so I, right. I was looking at this. This is exciting. We're doing it live. I was gonna put, live. I was gonna put 45, 49, because I was so used to it. Now I have to go like, I, I'm in the same category as you now. Look at that. Ha uh-huh. ha. 50 to 54. Uh, here we go. How often do you vape or use electronic cigarettes? I will say daily. Daily. What is my gender? <laughs> Male. <laughs> well, it's, you know, it's, uh, what is my household uh, income before oh taxes? Uh, I'll say over 150. Sure. Uh, are you Hispanic or of a Latino descent? Yes. <laughs> no. Regardless of your answer to the prior question, please select one or more of the following groups in which you consider yourself to be a member. Uh, I'm, it's just, I'm pasty white. Which state do I live in? Georgia. And I live in the city of Ringgold. All right. Next. If it gets too personal, I'll probably have to stop it. Yeah, I know. You're going to have to stop. Please choose which statement describes you best. I am currently using tobacco nicotine products other than e-liquid. I used to use tobacco nicotine products other than e-liquid regularly, but I stopped. I have never regularly used tobacco nicotine products. So I am... That'd be the, the second one. That's yeah. It's the second one. Yeah. yeah. Second. Yeah. Correct. It. Apart from vape products, what other tobacco products do you use? Nothing. Um... How often did you use these products before? Oh, apart from vape products, what other tobacco products did you use regularly? Oh, tobacco cigarettes. How often did I use them daily? How long did I quit? Uh, I will say 10 years. Sure. 10 years. Good. Uh, how many times a day did you use these products? How many times a day did you use these products? Uh, over 20. Which products? So that's confusing. Cigarettes. That's confusing cigarettes. Uh, that was for the previous. Okay, all right. Uh, oh, the, uh, the three vape, in it, I want to say Inigin. Yes. Inigin and, and Zvomesto. Oh, okay. There we go. Make it easy. Oh, that was nice. Uh, how long ago did you start vaping? How long ago did you start vaping using regular at least once a month? Some of these questions are really dumb. I hate to tell you, Kasa. <laughs> Ten. All right. Uh, what is your main reason for vaping? To help me smoke so I can do it. To not die. Yes. Yes. What made you try an electronic cigarette? Because uh, I wanted to be just like Phil Basardo. <laughs> That's exactly right. I saw, uh, I saw others using it and decided to try. Mm-hmm. Please rate the importance of the following factors when selecting your vape and electronic cigarettes. Appearance. Uh, hmm. I'll say of average. Ease of use. Uh, very important. Convenient to so. buy. Very important. Option to customize hardware. Very important. Cost sure. of device. Uh, of average. Yeah, average. How much do you agree or disagree with the following statements? FDA regulation will reduce the use of vaping products by minors. Strongly. Strongly. Disagree. disagree <laughs> I trust yeah. products with synthetic nicotine. Um, I agree. 
Discarded vaping products pose a serious risk to the environment. Uh, I'm going to say neutral here because you can be neutral. Yeah, I'm going to say because you know it's. I think it's the irony of saying that. I mean, we you know we all drive gas cars and burn all this stuff. So I'm going to go neutral. I would be willing to mix my own. Yes, I'm doing that right now. I'm addicted to nicotine. Disagree. Nicotine is bad for me. Strongly disagree. Uh, our favorite products. Nope. If flavored nicotine products were to be banned, which of the following would you do? Continue to use your current device with the restricted flavors. Continue to use the right mean the acquired flavor has. Kill yourself. Switch to another harm reduction product. Quit using vaping. You quit using. I, I guess this will be this. Jump into oncoming traffic. <laughs> if your usual so this is how long is this? It's not very long. Uh, it says only a couple minutes. So if your usual source of vaping products were unavailable, how far would you be willing to travel to obtain your supplies? To the submarine. <laughs> uh, I would say, I would say. 25 miles. I think wow, that's yeah, safe. Really, I think that's damn, safe. Okay. Really. Well, you know, I, I mean, ironically, when 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 Mountain Oak Vapors first opened the first store in Tennessee, it was in Cleveland, Tennessee. It's about 20 miles from here. So I would right. drive. I would drive. I would drive up there and do it. If you like tobacco flavored vapor products, please enter the brand uh, I don't like. Have you bought a disposable e cigs in the last six months? Yes. Top three reasons to buy a disposable. Um, oh, here we go. Mm hmm. I see where they're going. Emergency buy. That was my first reason. Curiosity okay. is my second reason. Okay. And non-tobacco flavor is number three. Hmm. Can you think of any drawbacks of disposable uh, devices? Yes. Bad uh, for the environment. China liquid. Bad yeah. for environment. Environment. I, uh, I misspelled. Kid, kid, kids using them. I misspelled that. Environment. Uh, kid initiation All right anything else um none of them are filled with watermelon peach the number one best <laughs> flavor in i was gonna put that line. i was gonna put that okay all right all right next what the hell what is this uh what which is category your current primary uh device belongs to i would say here advanced uh, open uh, system definitely the advanced there, yeah. open system how long have you been using this category? And years. Which category you prove is the best? By the way, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the entire show filling I'm out sorry. this uh, form. If right I knew that this was so long, I wouldn't have done it. But since I yeah. started, I can't stop now. If you're charging, main, main it's reason. It's not bad. To do so. really, everybody should still fill it out. Yes. Where do you yeah. usually purchase your current type of device? Uh, online. <laughs> In the past six months, did you increase? Keep the same degree? I say, kept the same, 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 same. The, the selected piece of main hardware that you last purchased within the last three months, I will huh. say, uh, that it's I purchased, hard for me to oh, read oh, I purchased a rebuildable tank. There you go. Uh, where did you purchase this piece of hardware? I will say at a vape store, which was in Greece. Can you say you built uh, the eight pod there? Other. 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 It was a cloud B2 RTA. Um, approximately how much did you spend on this hardware? I will say 100 plus. <laughs> Really? Too much. <laughs> Honestly, it wasn't worth it. 107. Yeah. Please rate how happy with this piece of hardware. I'm going to say five. Five. Yeah, that's kind five. of a neutral answer. Do you have any other vaping electronic devices that you use secondary device at least once a month? Uh, that would be a big yes. Yes. Did, 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 did they not 666. see 666. All right. It's what too, the it's, hell? It's too, long. it's too long. It's too long. I'll go back and do it later. But yeah, anyway, okay. that is the right. survey. If you want to if you want to go and uh, do it, uh, um, take your time, I guess. You're going to need at least a whole afternoon to, 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 <laughs> to, 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 to do it. I didn't know it was going to be that long. Uh, but, but, but in other news, in other news, Phil, um, a couple of bad news. I don't know if you saw this today, but uh, the attorney general in North Carolina had a big thing today at 2 o'clock. I posted it on my Facebook for people that wanted to see it. He did this live. Of course, you know, he's trying to get the spotlight. Uh, but he is going again over um, attacking, like just like he did with Jewel. Um, his name is Josh Stein. He's the North Carolina attorney general. He says he's suing Jewel founders James Monsies and Adam Bowen uh, for what they've done with Jewel and the kids. But... Unbelievable. You'll see here that he's filing a lawsuit 
alleging that they personally participated in Jewel's marketing strategy of attracting young users to their product and seeking several penalties and damages. They're going after their personal wealth now. So all those billions that they got from Altria, they're going after that. Um, and they're starting an investigation, a statewide investigation, into companies all along the e-cigarette industry distribution chain doing the ongoing concerns about flavors, edge verification, and marketing. So that includes uh, investigations into Puff Bar, uh, retailers across North Carolina, uh, distributors, and of course, they contacted the FDA to include. I, I pulled up this this letter to what they they send it to it their target list. So this is this is where it went out. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. I mean, this is it's pretty it's pretty funny. So of course, they sent to uh, Puff Bar, right? And you know what Puff Bar is gonna do? Hold on, let me put it on. But Phil, what is what is Puff Bar gonna tell? Uh, it's exactly, it's exactly, it's exactly what he's gonna tell. Um, so they sent, they sent to uh, the Puff Bar, uh, right? And then look at this: a Veil Vapor, Mad Vapes, really? uh, Cure Vapor. These are retailers that have, you know, chains. Uh, in the Ra Raleigh, you know, good guy. We know the guys from Jersey. It's the same guys yeah. that, that owns these stores here. Tobacco Max, King Tobacco Vape in the Charlotte area, Greensboro uh, Discount Tobacco and Vape. I know that guy. Uh, Winston Salem, SS Vapes. Um, uh, Durham, Asheville, some other vape stores and tobacco stores online, which was a little bit weird. E-Liquid Stop. And then North Carolina Distributors, Mid-Atlantic Distribution, uh, Old Dominion Tobacco Company, and Dream Vapor. Uh, I mean, it's not shocking, and it shouldn't be big news. I just don't want to see this go again, you know, from state to state, seeing all these investigations start it, starting up from these attorneys generals. But... I think the biggest problem that we have, Phil, is like we need to let the FDA do their job. You know, we, we need to have these these attorney generals. Uh, you know, we, we saw the letter about a month and a half ago that 27 uh, state attorney generals signed on and sent to the FDA to ban flavor products. Um, it, it's a huge problem when they're interfering with uh, the process that is assigned by Congress on how these products are going to remain on the market. Yeah. Now, granted, the FDA has done a piss poor job at, at at approving PMTAs or even the process of looking at a PMTA. We've seen this multiple times. However, there is a process in place, and that's what Congress assigned them to do. And they, they should they should step back and get it done. When you get these states involved, the only thing that we're creating is an opportunity for big tobacco to come in and negotiate something. When they say, "Okay, well, just like we pay you for cigarettes, we'll just pay you some month every." You know, some some master settlement agreement money every month, and uh, and uh, uh, leave us alone. And do you, uh, think, do you think that's what they're shooting for? Do you do you think that they want the master settlement of vapor products? I I I don't believe that it's ideologically just about kids. On I really don't believe that that that. I think that they're trying to find a revenue source from these products. I think that they see the writing on the wall. I'm sure their finances. And, you know, the accountants that every state has that, that work in the finance department uh, are giving them reports that the money that we're getting every year is less and less and less. So I think that there is some financial motive there. There is a little bit of grandstanding, especially during an election year. Oh, look at me. I'm protecting kids. Um, I think there is a little bit of influence maybe from tobacco companies as well, too. Look, the tobacco companies, they don't care, Phil. We've talked about this a million times. And... If it's if it's not something that's going to hurt their bottom line, they're not going to get involved. Plain and right. simple, because they right. sell the alternatives, they don't really care, right? Right. Um, because right. if a any any one of the big tobacco brands would be more than happy to pull their vapor products as long as we don't have our vapor products, because they're just going to continue to sell cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, um, if big tobacco wanted to fight for flavors they could have done successfully. I promise you that. I promise you that Big Tobacco could have saved flavors, but they don't care. I mean, they're just going to do whatever the government tells them because they sell the alternative. They don't have a they don't have an issue and they're like just just let them all weed out and then we'll be he, the last one standing here to take over what's what's uh, what's uh, left over. So, I think I mean, I th I think to to just um, uh, finalize your question, I think that f the money is a part of it, a big part of it as well too. Yeah. How um, how hard do you think Big Tobacco would go if they wanted to ban menthol countrywide? 
Uh, I think it'll be. I think yeah. I I, I mean I I don't I don't see that. I think. I think the, the the reason why the FDA has not banned menthol so far is because of big tobacco. Does that answer your question? Because they announced that we're yeah. going to do it back in two thousand and whatever. And I I wished I had remembered the the commercial, but I heard a horrible commercial the other day. It was you know anti smoking. How they were saying that um, big tobacco was targeting minorities with menthol. Yeah, like trying to kill minorities with men. No, I don't necessarily think that that's the case. I don't think that I don't think that the marketing. I think it just picked up to be that way. I yeah, mean, well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I mean, it, it just so happens that maybe a higher percentage of of minorities like menthol but i mean it's not but it's not just them i mean a lot of white people like uh, yeah like i mean too. and look you don't want to make this into a race thing i mean you like gabagool you like gabagool you know i mean we don't we don't bitch like about gabagool. that yeah well whatever but you know i mean i don't want to make it into a race thing but it is a fact that that more ethnic groups use methyl cigarettes that there's, there's no there's no denying that but do i necessarily think that big tobacco's ploy was to reel in um um, those those groups with menthol cigarettes. No, I think it just became a thing, and now it's a huge part. Let me tell you something. Newport is the only thing that's keeping that company in. You know, I mean, they're selling tons of Newports in in, in America. I mean, can you imagine if that that um, um, if that went away for them, that would be a huge financial disaster. So they've been fighting it tooth and nail, and I, I just don't think it's going to prevail. Uh, which 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 brings in this question is like if if menthol is not banned but flavors are banned well menthol is a flavor as well too, it is. So I, how do you draw the line of what what is distinguished as a flavor or not? Like like kids are not going to be attracted to menthol. I think that kids would be more attracted to menthol than there would be at flavors to be honest with you because they get more of that scratch throat with that with that menthol as well too. Because that's why that's why a lot of these these puff bars are popular because of the ice that they have inside. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, um, Newport was my mother's, uh, really brand. Yeah. When she, when she was a smoker, she was a Newport smoker. That is, uh, that is, uh, interesting. I, I've never liked menthol cigarettes. I tried them a couple of times. It just wasn't, it wasn't for me. Um, I was actually a menthol smoker for a while. Yeah. It, which is odd because now I can, I won't vape anything that's not cold. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's yeah just, right. And, and it's the opposite for me. Although I, I think it was after my menthol and I think it was Salem ultralight 100s that yeah. was my brand that is so then, that is so girly went, that is so whatever. girly and then it went to um marlboro lights and then it went to marlboro ultralights Mar marlboro ultralight actually marlboro ultralight 100s that's right? what my wife that's what my wife used to smoke i used to smoke them as well too i used to smoke marlboro ultralight 100s then i switched to uh, american spirits that, that was yeah. my last brand before yeah, well actually th th that's a good point because that's kind of what i did because we used to drive up to the reserves and get cartons really really cheap yeah um but in a way marlboro ultralight 100s that was my last cigarette before i became a vapor yeah uh steve uh says that he he used to smoke newports uh uh steve mal that's interesting um Jason, I smoked Newport. Now I can't vape any menthol. Isn't that funny, Jason? I, I've heard this from quite a few menthol smokers that they don't they don't vape anything that's menthol. And me, that I never liked menthol, I can't get enough of it. Like if I could put a WS twenty three right up my veins, I would. Yeah, that's for sure. And I, I I always found it interesting. Like first of all, that's an interesting thought, right? Yeah. But I always thought like a menthol smoker would have an easier transition to vaping because I thought menthol liquids more closely represented or or yeah as a real cigarette a real menthol cigarette than a tobacco flavor did yeah because i could remember earlier on trying some menthol liquids that were like just really really close to a newport yeah 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 that's that's really really interesting i prefer strong regular but occasionally had a menthol says rifleman my dad smoked salem light 100s I switched lights. Don't don't listen to Phil. Phil used to smoke Virginia Slims. Just don't listen to him. Uh, Brian says uh, menthol is also a top seller in dip. Uh, John Haymaker used to smoke Camel Lights in a hard pack. Yeah, I mean it's just I just just find it really weird. But in more bad news this week, uh, I got this email from my my lobby uh, Phil this morning, and um, uh, the, you know we talked about all these cases that are ongoing in, on the last show, and talked about some of these these. Um, um, companies that have been granted stay by various circuit courts across America. Well, just the other day, yesterday, 
um, a divided Sixth Circuit court refused to impose a stay uh, on uh, this company uh, called Breeze Smoke LLC. Uh, when they uh, they appealed their case uh, for their MDOs from uh, the FDA, uh, but what I find really interesting in, inside here is is what the court has said. Okay, so th this this is a little bit alarming to me. Uh, Breeze Smoke, of course, petitioned for a stay in the sixth court without uh, first going through the agency, uh, arguing that it would have been impactable since the FDA can take months to consider an agency level request for a stay, uh, which is partially true. Uh, the majority opinion agreed that Bree Smoke was correct to not first request a stay directly from the FDA, but did not find the company's arguments for a stay persuasive. Bree Smoke has not made a strong showing that it would likely succeed on its claim that the FDA's review of its application was arbitrary and capricious. The majority of the opinion states, nor has Bree Smoke made a strong showing that the FDA's denial of its application contradicted the FDA's non-binding 2019 guidance because that guidance contemplated more rigorous scientific data than the breeze smokes application contain. You know, I find it interesting that this court actually looked at the application, looked at what breeze smoke uh, submitted, and said, "We just don't think you're going to make it to the FDA. We don't. Yeah. We don't think that you have a winnable case here." And and I'm, I'm sure breeze smoke is one of these companies that filed, you know, com like the other companies did as well too, kind of bridge their studies. It says inside here that they bridge their studies. In fact, remember all those, you know, all those companies that were popping out and they were asking people to fill out these Google forms to get behavioral data from their customers, Phil. It's actually quoted in here. Um, the literature findings, says the court, uh, offered mixed findings in that the survey it conducted presented methodological, methodological issues. Bree Smoke Study submitted via Google form contained responses from customers solicited by request in the retail stores. This suggests biased respondents, the opinion states. Um, I mean, if you're, who are you going to get data from? Your customers that come to the store. Does it, I mean, I just I don't get why this was quoted here. I mean, if you're going to get, if, if I'm going to ask product specific questions out of your product field, you're going to go to your customers to get it, right? Sure. I mean, well, what would you get anywhere else? How, uh, where else could you get it? Absolutely. Um, um, the, the court here says, yeah, the FDA did a few stupid things, but at the end of the day, basically what they're saying is, um, they're saying, you know, we don't give a shit and, and, and it's going to be denied. So I, I think that, I think that I, I'm a little bit concerned about this. They, they actually quoted some of these other courts that have given stays to some other companies. It makes me ponder if these, these companies have, have their PMTAs been more extensive than this company's or the courts are based basically on where they lean left or right and who has appointed these judges and stuff like that. If it's more of a political game uh, than, than anything else. But that denial, I was, I was, pretty, uh, I was pretty shocked from it, especially with the good, good movement that we're getting um, for a couple of weeks and having companies um, get wins in courts or at least get stays in courts until their case is reviewed. Yeah, yeah. I, I have a question for you regarding PMTAs. Sure. Are... If if a company's PMTA is approved, is it public? Yes, it is public. Yes. So, well, so, some proprietary information is not. And by the way, you know, it's it's given market authorization. It's not really approved. If they're given market authorization to go, you guys, I mean, I've pulled the IQOS um, authorization and I've read it extensively. Um, uh, too too extensively actually but uh some of the proprietary information um uh recipes and stuff like that are not uh, on there but it does show all the studies that they submitted it shows um you know all the marketing um uh, uh, structure plan that they have submitted what they're planning on doing over the next two years how they're going to monitor their product recall i mean right. it, you know it covers a lot of stuff yeah and i think that i think that's my point so there has been a pmta approved at this point yes could that not be used as the model to get your PMTA through? Sure, sure, right? sure. But I mean that that PMTA was was done by Altria. <laughs> I mean, who's going to have the money yeah. to, or the time? You know, don't don't forget, Iquos has ten years of data that they submitted into their PMTA, right? So they 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 were very smart. They launched in a different country. They gathered the data from that country, and then they submitted it with their PMTA. And then they had their scientists give all the HPACs and everything that goes there. I mean, that's right, a five-year proposition. I'm not, I'm not necessarily talking about Icos. I'm talking about the other. Uh, the, what is it? The views. 
Uh, yeah, the views. The views is not up there yet, but I mean it will be eventually. But the problem is that now, if you submit a, a PMTA field, you can't still you can't sell your product until you get market authorization. In fact, do you remember three years ago when I made that proposal? I don't know where we were. You were sitting in front of me. And you looked at me a little bit weird when I said this. Yeah, well, I always do. But but I told somebody, a guy that had a lot of money. I don't I forget who it was, and I said, why don't we just launch this in Europe? With six yeah, flavors. I, I, I forget where we were. But I yeah. made this proposition to somebody. I was like, let's launch this in Europe. And gather the data. I, th I think it was pods. Uh, six flavors, tobacco, menthol, maybe a few more flavors. Let's launch it in Europe and get the data for a year. And then we submit a PMTA. And we don't have to sell it into America until we get the market authorization. That way you don't have to worry about a PMTA. You can continue to do your business in Europe while they're doing it. I, I, I mean, he probably... Like a lot of people in this industry probably says, what a dumbass, and I didn't do it. But it, you can structure a PMT if you have millions of dollars. You can structure a PMTA right now and submit it, but you can't sell it until the FDA reviews it and gives you market authorization. Right. Okay. But what about, all right, so we had, like, let's say there's a million PMTAs that went in. Uh, we know that 600,000 of them, uh, if not more, uh, were denied. Yes. Um, but there's still a number that are outstanding, right? Yeah. So those that are outstanding, even those that were denied, they did put a PMTA in, right? So they, they can still, well, not the ones that were denied, but the ones that haven't been denied, they can still sell until the PMTA is denied. The ones that have not been denied and the ones that have been granted stay can continue to sell until they get right. okay. a, cease, so a cease from the FDA. So my point is, at this point, can those companies that are kind of in limbo, right, go and look at the views PMTA and modify and resubmit their PMTA? Yes. Okay. That would that would take a lot of time, and it would take millions of, I mean, literally millions of dollars. It's not. It's not. Well, a, it's I'm a, just saying. Yeah. It's a. It's a possibility. Absolutely. 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 But uh, as somebody that's worked on this, you know, extensively on the background with my with my guys. Uh, I will tell you, it's a very, very costly process. I mean, we're talking about for two or three products, maybe $10 million, maybe a little bit more. Um, and, and the time, for, like, let's say you start everything and you contract everybody. You can go to the FDA and say, look, I, I am doing this right now. And the FDA can, they can possibly say, we don't give a shit. You got 180 days to submit it. Or they can say, we don't care, yank it off now. Most likely they'll work with you if they see that you're a serious player and that you have some serious data to to provide them. Uh, but it would it would require um, uh, a lot of money. It would require a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, Bill is telling me to mention the Pro Vaping Australian. I told him it's too long. I saw it. I just, I just figured to play it next week. But, uh, you know, Bill, he's hard-headed like you. Uh, Pro Vaping Australian Government webinar. Uh, yes, it's very, very good. Bill's going to drop it in the chat for people that want to to see it, and I'll scroll up and try to find it a little bit later. Last Bill, thing, I'm, I'm 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 actually pretty sure that Bill sent it to me already. Bill, if you didn't send it to me, uh, go ahead and send it to yeah. me, and it'll, it'll be in the replay. Uh, yeah, uh, with the uh, the post on tissuejuice.com. Last thing I want to show you uh, from the uh, literally what the fuck file. <laughs> I, this came across my uh, RSS feed uh, today, Phil. Uh, a Montreal mother is outraged that her teenage, that her teenager had to lower his pants at his school last week during a search for vaping products, oh, a boy, search boy. that wouldn't constitute a rise and went too far. Uh, Andrew Forgione, a grade nine student at LaSalle Community Copperheads of High School, called it a traumatizing experience when he and three other students were implicated in the search, during which he had to lower his pants feel. That, but that, but that <laughs> should be an instant lawsuit. But not his underwear. <laughs> All four students are between the ages of 13 and 16. I dropped them, he said. I had to grab the side of my boxers, move them around my waistband to see if anything fell out. And I had to turn around and do the same thing in the back. Phil, what is the matter with these people? What is the matter with these people? You, I, I, mean, I do find it interesting that um, you know when you're, uh, when you're looking for watermelon peach, the number one best-selling flavor in the unsalted line, you do ask me to drop my pants. And I'm not <laughs> sure if it's because you're looking for the flavor or because you're looking for something else. I don't know.
but I'm just saying that that, that has happened. Oh my God. What is the matter with these people? I mean, it's just getting to the point where it's just getting ridiculous, man. They're treating, a- they're treating these kids like they're like, like, like they're, I, I, I don't know what they're treating them like. Like, it's like just- literally like they're shooting heroin. And, and, and did you hear about the, uh, the, the, the bathroom in the school that they yeah. removed the doors? The doors. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. That's been going on for like the last couple of years. Unbelievable. But I, I tell you what, my daughter told me. I mean, they do vape in, in in the. But that's not the point. The point is not that they vape, they vape. It's uh, it's 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 the is the point is like, what are you doing with these kids, man? Like, out of everything that's going on in their mind right now, their mental state is fucked up. You know, this this fucking TikTok is eating their brains. The mm-hmm. drugs, fentanyl, and and cocaine, mm-hmm. and mollies, and and meth, and 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 binge drinking, and. And uh, dietary supplements because they all want to be thin. And I mean, I can, I can go on and on with all these problems that these kids are having today, all because of this fucking phone right here. They have access to everything, and literally, you're making these kids drop their pants in school because you're looking for a vape. Yeah, well, but no, but no, they're very depressed because you know nicotine causes depression, Dimitri. Don't you know that? Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. It's, It's unbelievable. I'm so. This is the presentation, by the way, that Phil was talking about. I mean, the Phil that uh, Bill was talking about. Very, very good. If you want to take a look at it, basically says that that vaping is is uh, much better than smoking. Uh, it helps in cessation. Uh, did, you, oops. did you change the page? It looks like it's we're still there. We go. There we go. Uh, and we'll have the link. We'll put it in the uh, in the chat, and Bill will put it in the chat if you want to take a take a look at it. And uh, there's the the video that goes along with it on on YouTube. I was gonna play it, but I was gonna play it this week because we just we just have too much to. Too much to talk about this week, uh, Bill. But don't forget, don't think I didn't see it. Of course, I saw it. Yeah, of course, we saw uh, it. Bill says the IQA submission cost them two billion dollars for all the studies done in house. Well over a million pages filed for the PMTA. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I, I went through the IQA submission, but I mean, yeah. Of course, they have scientists in house. Um, Aaron Dinner B. Lady has yeah. that. Dinner lady has that. Uh, Aaron B, can you guys tell me where I can get a kit with a Zenith 2 tank and 18 milligram liquid? Looked everywhere today and could not find anything in stock. Um, with liquid, I don't know. Anakinstore.com sells the kit. Uh, Vapor DNA, my Vapor Store are still shipping. So, I mean, if you get if if you can get it close to you with the couriers that they're using, you can get it from there. Uh, I think dashvapes.com has them in stock. Um, yeah, that was my suggestion. So look there, and then uh, and then we'll go from there. Uh, yeah, for I mean, for for really uh, for any of our products, I mean, look at the big three. Look at Vapor DNA. Look at My Vapor Store. Look at um, what Element. Was the other? Element. Yeah. Okay. Element Vape. Those three. And if you can't find them there, remember that the Anakin Store uh, is definitely a possibility. The Anakin Store you. ships hardware, but doesn't have any liquid. If you want liquid, Dash Vapes. Right. Uh, yeah. and Dash Vapes, you can get any kind of milligram uh, you want. All right. Yes. Um. So yeah. That's what I had. Uh, that's what I had. I'm, I'm going to leave the survey open because I have to go back you know, and finish it, it. It's really unfortunate, but there's there's more bad news that we just found out before the show. Yeah, yeah. This is really bumming me out too. Yeah. So so sad to hear that Dino. Uh, we've had him. Uh, we've had him on the show uh, before. Uh, Dino used to be on. Uh, if you don't know who Dino is, he came up with the Velocity uh, um, RDA with Cisco. Uh, he also worked on the Marquee. Uh, some of those uh, earlier Carta tanks and Genesis style atomizers, uh, you know, classic uh, Brooklyn, New York guy, uh, opinionated asshole sometimes, but but always a straight shooter. And uh, apparently he passed away June fourth. I, di- I I didn't know this uh, Phil, but uh, but I, I just now got the message. But uh, but anyway, rest in peace, yeah. uh, Dino. Really really sad. Um, it's a picture of me and him from a, um, a VaporCon. You know, you know, Dino and I, we had it out because of uh, the the velocity um, issues. I, I was always using velocity um, style decks uh, to do my testing, right? And uh, he found out that I was using clones. And I said, "Listen, when, whenever I vape, whenever I go to a show, you know, I'm using authentic velocity." And and I said, "You know, but just for all of the testing because I needed numerous." I said, "I just bought a bunch of clones." But th- that's that's beside the point. Even with that. Right. Uh, Even that little argument that we had, I always loved the guy, Um, spent a lot of time with him. He was he was one of those people that I really, really enjoyed seeing at all at the shows. And uh, I was really bummed out when Dimitri told me this and and, uh, rest in peace, Dino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was an asshole sometimes, but he was our asshole. So he will be missed. Yeah. Yeah. R.I.P. 
Uh, you know, we got something in the mail today, Phil. Uh, just a uh, surprise. Well, I got it yesterday. Uh, of course, you know, it takes you 30, 13 days to open up any package that comes to you, uh, just like it does yes. your email. Uh, but we got a package in, in the mail yesterday, and uh, I was, I was kind of shocked to, to see this, um, this new pod system. By the way, this is not sponsored or paid by anybody. Just, uh, just want to make sure I clarify that before yeah. we uh, give you our opinion. But it just came in the mail, so we figured we'd talk about it. Um, actually, um, so th it's, it's, would you consider this from flavor art? I don't think that it's from, I, I mean, it's the, it's fan distro is the, is the, is the, is yeah. the website. So obviously it is connected with flavor art. So, right. but it's from the same owners, I guess. I, I guess. Um, so actually Dimitri, you opened up your kit already. I did. I did. Right. And I, I haven't. So this is going to be like a live Great. unboxing. It, Great. Still has it's the, like, it still has the plastic wrap on. It's like a live Pibusardo review. I mean, it how really exciting is, is that? I, I, look, I even brought the um the, the close-up cam in here. And if I push uh, this button right here, I should go to it. Look, there it is. Yeah. Um, okay. Let me well, switch to yours. There we go. All right. So uh, it's the Nalt, the Nalt, um, and it's they're calling this transitional vaping. I actually did um, a, a video for for Sean and Richard about transitional vaping, and the idea the idea here I think is you're transitioning off of cigarettes in the easiest possible way, right? And then you're moving into something else, right? So you're you're transitioning with a pre filled pod, uh, and then you're moving to a refillable pod, and then maybe you're moving into something else, right? So now what you're seeing right here, this is it's the sample kit, right? So I, this is probably a promotional kit that um, that you're not going to be buying if you are buying uh, something like this. So we're gonna open this up and take a look at it together. Uh, we see here transitional vaping. Uh, I believe Dimitri told me that these are the refillable pods. Right? Correct. Correct. Okay. So I'll take that off. We'll look at those in a bit. And uh, let's take a look at what we got here. Oh, <laughs> it's definitely childproof okay. packaging. We uh, we go from this to that. that. Okay. It looks pretty much the same way. Little uh, little magnetic clip right there. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty and nice what packaging. We, what, what we see in here are all of the uh, the flavors that come with it, mm -hmm. right? So this actually has their entire flavor line. Yep. Here's the flavors. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, we do get the device. There's the device. USB-C charging right there. Nice little device. What else is going to come in this? I have probably some instructions, right? Yep. Okay. So instructions. Uh, what's in here, Dave? Maybe the charger. The charger. Charge cable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, charge cable. Gee, you don't even need instructions, man. We're talking about. Look at that. Well, you know, I've done one of these or, one or two of these before, <laughs> and then these are going to be all the uh, the flavor pods. Uh, again, you're going to get one pod of each one of the flavors. But I'm actually going to take a look at because um, uh, we're going to talk about those flavors in a second. I want to fill one of these pods. Okay. Because I I'm not a uh, I I have already transitioned. Yes, right? you have you have transitioned. Right. And let me guess. Let me guess. You're going to fill this up with. Delicious, line. number one selling. Delicious, number one best-selling flavor in the unsalted line, the uh, the watermelon peach. Fabulous, yeah. by the way. Yeah, yeah. Everybody needs to run over to Dash Vapes right now and buy a bottle, okay? Uh, so here we go. Do you know what the capacity on these are? No, two mils. Two mils? Yes. Okay, so I believe these are push. Yeah, they are. Yep. Okay, so uh, similar to... Oh, what's the Vaporesso? The, uh, yeah, the Vaporesso mm -hmm. and the Caliburn. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm assuming that the red is the fill port. Yep. So it's got a little silicone plug that gets out of the way. And I'm sorry, I should probably do it this way so you can see what's going on. So both sides are filling up. Come on. Come on. Um, already, I like the fill method. Right, I do prefer that fill method to um, to a plug. All right, and uh, is it a one, two, three, four, five? Yep. Right. Get a little little indicator there. Do, uh, do you know anything about the? Um, uh, the, I'm sure that's a battery indicator and a yeah, fire. Yeah, green, indicator. green. It's like 70, 60 percent and above. Then it goes into blue, and then it goes into red. Um, blue is thirty to sixty, and then you know. Um, red. I, I I I got the kit here. Of course, as soon as I took it out, I saw pineapple, mango, peach, 
And of course I jumped on it and I filled it up and I started using, I've been using it since yesterday. You can see and my pot is about halfway, uh, about halfway full. I, I will uh, tell by the way, did everybody see what I just did? I sucked on the pod without putting it in the device. Why did I do that? Because, um, well, I could have turned the device off, but uh, the device is a manual or an automatic, right? So if I start sucking on a dry pod, I could potentially burn the uh, the coil out. Don't want to do that. Huh? So that's why I dry um, dry puffed the, uh, the pod. You dry Ooh. sucked. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what you used to do in the high school when they pulled your pants down. <laughs> you used to dry suck. <laughs> they weren't looking for pods back then. Uh, all right, go ahead. Okay. I want you to vape so, it first before I say anything, because I've been using it for a while. Okay. I'll tell you exactly how I feel about it. Okay. The switch is excellent. Yes. Okay. Really digging the flavor. Yes. Flavor is outstanding. It's, huh? a, it's a good liquid. <laughs> well, it is a good liquid, but you know, sometimes <laughs> I you know, know I you know put it in the wrong device. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to bring you up, my buddy. You're my friend. I'm trying to. I got wiggle in this pod. Uh, I got a little bit of wiggle, a little bit of wiggle in mine too. Yeah, that that would bug the Jesus out of me right there. That little bit of wiggle right there. Yeah, that that's a fair amount of wiggle. Mm. I wonder if the pre filled are the same. I've got a little a little bit of wiggle, but it's not it's not too noticeable in mine. It's not like it's not, bugging me. No, nah, the the it, the the oh look, it's got a little. Yeah, you pull that out. Uh, to, so that's so the liquid does not leak when it's. Yeah, uh, that's actually transition. that's a pretty good idea. Oh, did I? Was no, I no, that's it. That's it. That's it. You got that's it. That's all I had to do. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's it. Nah, I got a little bit of wiggle there. Yeah, too. a little bit of wiggle on the on the prefill. Yeah, the the wiggle would bug me. Okay, but um, oh my god, spicy! No problem, buddy. I don't care where you live. Just send us your info. We'll send it to you, bud. Chill out. Chill out. Oh, and this is a um, two airflow system. Right. So have the pod one way, you're going to have a little bit of a tighter draw, have the pod the other way, you're going to have a little bit of a looser draw. And it gets tight, man. I'm telling you. Mm. Mm. So sexy when you vape. It does. Yeah. And what's interesting is that uh, maybe it's because I've been vaping so long, but my mouth along draw has, I think has loosened up a little bit yes. over the years Yes. because the tightness on here is too tight for me. Right. So I have to go to the little bit of a looser. But as a cigarette draw, it's a very good cigarette draw. Yeah, absolutely. I'll, I mean, I'm digging the uh, and throat hit is good, too. You yeah. know, sometimes with little devices like this, you don't get throat hit, but I'm, I'm totally satisfied by the vape. And you the can little, hit the, you can hit the button as well, too, and vape it as well, too. Sure. But the um, the little bit of wiggle there would would uh, would bug me. So I will tell you, hardware wise. This is one of the nicest pods I've put in my hands. I think they've done a great job with the fill and the finish of it. Uh, it's got a little, when you plug it in and to charge it, it has like a little breathing action uh, going on. Let me see if I can find a USB-C here and well, plug it in for you. Here you go. So it does like a little breathing when you, uh, when you plug it in. It's actually done very, very well. I really like the feel of it. I really like the vape off of it. Uh, the pod quality is top notch. I mean, this is not. I, I think they they spent a lot of time, you know, to make sure that the quality materials were used in these. I remember uh, talking about this a while back, and and they were just talking about the plastic, what they want to make sure that they use, and and all that. To me, as far as hardware is concerned, it's a very very nice device. The, for me, the bummer is the mouthpiece. You don't like the mouthpiece? The mouthpiece is a little bit too, too wide. wide. For me, too yes. wide. Too wide. Yeah. I like the fact that I can actually put it in my teeth and hold it, but the entire mouthpiece is just a little bit too wide. Yeah. Okay. So for me, the mouthpiece doesn't bother me at all. What bothers me more is that I would like a stronger magnet system, stronger connection system, and this wiggle. Let's see if I can angle. If I can, let's see if I can. Yeah, hold you can this. actually see it. Yeah, that you little play. It. You see that right yeah, there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's gotta it. go. I get it. Okay. Um, but, uh, that's, that's what, what my, my first impression with, of course I put in the fruity flavors immediately and, uh, you know, I enjoy the flavor 20 milligram for me is, is, you know, I can vape it, especially when I'm going out, but I find really interesting. And I think Phil, you agree with me on this as well, too. I do not see a tobacco pod 
Well, I was going to get to that, man. I, I, that was going to be my thing. Yeah, but, but yeah, get to you, it. You, That's yeah. why I bring it up. So here's the here's an, another problem that I have with it, right? Um, I'm, so I'm looking at the flavor offerings, right? And uh, let's see, we can open this up. Do you have do you have the flavor card? I do. Well, I mean, I I'm not, I can I can read you off exactly all the flavors that that are that are in well, here. I've got it too. So we got um, a strawberry ice, an orange mango guava a banana ice, a pineapple mango peach, a classic red ice, a grape ice, a blue raz, and a lush ice. Um, but if you have the flavor card, uh, because the classic red ice, you would think maybe classic red tobacco, and you would think maybe the lush ice um, menthol, but, but that's not the case, right? No, classic red ice, the classic twist on cola flavor, timeless favorite, refreshing with a hit of ice. And the lush ice, a watermelon flavor infused with fresh breeze of menthol to provide a cool, uh, fruity vaping experience. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I don't know if they're going to have a tobacco flavor. This might be just, but I'm looking at the flavor card and I don't see a tobacco flavor. My question is, if, well, if, if, if this is right, if, if read that card again, for a feel that was in the front of the package. Right. And that's my problem with it. Okay. Because if this, if this was any other, if it was just a pod system, right? And they didn't have this statement on it, right? Introducing the first ever device to work with both pre-filled pods and reusable open pods, perfect for users at any experience level. Um, and it goes on, but it's, it's transitional vaping defined, transitional. So if I think transitional, I think going from a cigarette to a device, and then going from that device to a different flavor, and then going from a different flavor to a refillable, and then going from that refill refillable to something else, right? But a little bit surprised and a little bit disappointed that there is not a straight up tobacco in here and a straight up menthol, right? I totally, totally, totally yeah. agree with you on, on, on that point, Phil. As far as flavors are concerned, yeah, it's got a really nice offering. Of course, now we've seen the popularity in these small devices and ice. Even if you are a disposable... Uh, user, this would be a great uh, device to transition to so that you don't have to throw a battery every time that you use it. You can just recharge it and just throw away the the, uh, the pod when you're done. I am going to keep my, I only have two empty pods. I'm going to keep them. I'm going to fill it when I travel next week. So I'm going to use it on my travel. I usually use 20 milligram when I'm traveling anyway. So this is perfect. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's it's a new company um, from Flavor Art and Nalt. Did I say that right? I think it's Nalt, um, Nalt. but if you're interested, there's a website because uh, they are looking for distro, right? And, and if you pull up the um, if you pull up the website, you can see uh, where you can go. We'll we'll have all of the information in the uh, the replay, um, as always. But yeah, I'm gonna pull it up in here in just a second. I just want to make sure I get the right. Uh... Again, right. you know, I think if if the tagline wasn't traditional, I wouldn't be talking about you know tobacco pods. But unfortunately, it is. But outside, I tell you what, I'm really happy with the um, the refillable pod and the, the performance and the flavor. Uh, why isn't it opening up? I do not know. Is the, uh, just a second, I'm going to get it. Speak, speak. Speak, speak, speak. Okay. Uh, so after after uh, this, we have another little show and tell for you. Yep. And then uh, um, uh, what else do we have tonight? Oh, I know what we have tonight. We've got retro stuff tonight. Yep. Really retro. I'm not retro. sure what Dimitri's doing with retro. I'm not doing that anything. Was... I'm going to be watching you. Oh, really? You're not going to do anything with retro? No, 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 oh, okay. no. I, I figure we break stuff. it up a little bit here, a little bit there. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh... hi, Melissa. Hello, Melissa. Uh, really why is the website not opening for me? It's fandistro.com. Fana Distro. F A N A. -D -I -S. Oh. That's why. That's why. Okay, there it is. There so is. this can... that's all you get right there. You you have to become a member. Um, uh, Matt Coley, Suck My Mod, is also part of this uh, of private vape blog that they have created that gives insight into uh, product uh, exclusive products, uh, specific tips for the industry, tools, and more. Um, so, yeah, if you're interested in bringing this into your stores or if you want to distro it, uh, fanadistro.com, F-A-N-A distro. Dot com and we wish him uh, luck. It's a good device and uh, and it's kind of refreshing to see something not be a disposable, even though you know disposables are really taken over. But uh, 
And I, I mean, I do, I, I like the idea. I like the idea of, of where they're going with this. I mean, that's why I recorded the video for them when they first started putting this together. Um, I, I like the idea of transitioning a smoker into something really super easy and then moving them into refillable. And then, you know, maybe there's going to be a Nalt, uh, a more advanced device in the future. Um, or if you happen to like these liquids, maybe these liquids are going to be available as standalone liquids. And then you could put them in your refillable to get used to refilling and then move on to something else. So it's, that's why they're calling it transitional vaping, right? So um, yeah, good for them. And I hope it really works out for them. Yeah, and I hope I hope they add tobacco and menthol if they don't have it already. It might not be in our package, so just to, just to get you know to give the, the the fair benefit of the doubt. But um, you definitely need to have a tobacco and a menthol. Also, having uh, that many ice flavors in these pods is also a good tool to have for shops that want to get people to switch from a disposable and go to something uh, a little bit better and a little bit more uh, eco-friendly, if you want to call it that. So having yeah, those sure. flavors, it's what we talked about on the show last time of being able, if somebody wants to go to something else, you need to be able to have the flavors to transition them. Uh, that way they can try something else that tastes like the disposable that they had. And they have quite a few ice flavors in here that'd be able to do that. And uh, by the way, uh, very impressed with the kit too. The kit, the kit is beautiful. Very nicely well done. done. The yes. presentation is really, really nice. So uh, well done there too, guys. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of pods, one more pod. Can you believe it? it's just a pod show? Uh, Anakin launching a big... Listen, uh, folks, I'm just going to give you a little teaser. Uh, there is a huge, huge campaign happening in the UK soon that Anakin is being part of. A mainstream campaign to benefit tobacco harm reduction and vaping and this is the star of the show for that campaign the mvp pod how about that interesting huh right. they're calling it the mvp pod um if you can call if you can pull it up later on dimitri on the Inican website you can see the uh, the different finishes that sure. they have this is obviously um the silver to dimitri, dimitri pink version yep Right. Uh, it's got a fire button. There are two different levels on this. It's an 11 watt and a 12.5 watt. So if I click this twice, one, two, I go to green, which I believe is the 11 watt. Another two clicks, one, two. I go to red. That's going to be the 12.5 watt. Little boost. Uh, the what? A little boost. A little boost. A little boost. Uh, the pod is refillable. Uh, the coil is not replaceable. So with this one, uh, unlike the scepter, you're not replacing the uh, the coil. You are throwing the entire pod away. Uh, this does have a little plug. So you're going to have plug filling on this one. I'm not sure which side you open this from. That one. Yeah, there you go. That side, this side right here. So uh, you know how I feel about plug filling. Yep. And I'm, I, have, I mean, those are not fingers. Those are literally baseball bats. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, <laughs> okay. So yeah. So no, no, no. Gonna, the other side. There you go. It's this side. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Well, I'll figure it out. Okay. No, I think it's this side. No, you're wrong. Okay. Okay. So I'll be. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, that worked. And the whole plug fill. Well, <laughs> such a dummy. Yeah, not a uh, not a, not a good uh, first look at this anyway. But um, so anyway, it is plug filling. That's how you uh, you fill it from this side. Uh, I I think I was right, D. I, I think was you're right. I think you're right. I think you're that, right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So I just pulled broke, mine out too, and I saw it because he told me to do it the wrong way. I'm sorry. I'm anyway. sorry. Uh, anyway. The the pod is going to be a 2.7 mil pod. Uh, it, it doesn't have any kind of um. Uh, airflow controller so you can put this in either way it's going to work either way uh, but no difference in airflow the pod i believe i believe is a 0.65 yep. ohm pod it's the this. battery in here is going to be a 500 milliamp hour battery and it does have a USB C port on the side there to fill it it is going to be a i think it's three click on off one two three yep yep three click on and off just like other uh Anakin products one two three it's going to turn it back on and um what else? Both an automatic and a manual. So just by drawing on it is going to activate it. And by pushing that button is also going to activate it. And some really, really sexy colors. This is uh, the initial launch of the six colors that they have out right now. Uh, it looks very, very nice. Uh, for me, the reason why I like this, and it's been my go-to, well, until I get fresh pods, because I'm on my last pod right now. A couple of reasons. Um, you know, I use a scepter for, for traveling. I use a 20 milligram um uh liquid when i'm traveling and i also like a very tight draw with that high milligram liquid i don't like to have you know that high of a milligram with an airy draw so the scepter mtl pod 
on the, the close setting with the 0.65 ohm coil is a great vape. So this is exactly the same coil as the 0.65 Scepter coil, which is the most popular coil in the in the Scepter lineup, and the one that I enjoy the most anyway. So since this is the nice the 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 same coil, and the draw, which I found really unique when you told me that it's too tight for you, because for me, this is good. I like that tight draw with that high milligram liquid. This is one of the reasons why, and then the other reason why is if you look at the Scepter, this has a smaller mouthpiece up front so the mouthpiece is a little bit more convenient for me when i'm traveling i can just like you know stealth it like that in my in my mouth and and be able to draw on it uh as a stealth vape so those are the two reasons why this has been my go-to when when i have been traveling now i use it you know going and coming back from greece like as my travel device but i like it i mean it's nothing special it's just another pod in the lineup however there is a huge campaign that's being built around this little guy uh, again, to help uh, people uh, transition from from smoking to vaping, and uh, and you're gonna see that being launched in the UK very very soon with buses, with all kind of mainstream media that Inikin has been um, kind enough to sponsor. Yeah, I, I I like the fit and finish on this too. It feels it feels very very solid. Uh, it's got kind of that uh, that iPhone look where you you have like a, a finish on the front and the uh, the back but you have a, a frame that's a, a different color on the yeah. outside. The, the fit and finish on this really does feel good. The vape is fantastic. Yeah. Um, you, you are going to have to like a tighter vape. Yep, you're absolutely going to have to like a tighter vape. So Anakin MVP is coming, uh, and it's being launched tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. The 17th is the launch day of that. So, and uh, we just got word that the Z-Force and the uh, Chroma 2, 217 launch day is December the 16th of 2021 so exactly one month from today the chroma 217 and the z force will be launching pre-orders in france are fantastic for it we got the word today so we're very very happy it's and a great uh, christmas gift it's a great christmas gift for everybody it's yes a get gift. your grandma 217 with a z force and blow some clouds but yeah i mean it, it, which begs the question i feel i mean it if it, it, it's so much i mean today we just showed you two Right, two pieces of equipment, uh, fairly inexpensive. All right, the um, the um, the knot that we showed you retail price for the kit is going to be twenty four dollars and twenty cents Canadian. That's like what three U.S. dollars? Uh, no, that's like around <laughs> that's, that's like around twenty bucks. And the pods, two of them are going to be ten bucks. I mean. One option. Then the other option with the MVP pod, with a refillable pod, um, again, under 20 bucks for this, uh, for this MVP to get somebody started. If you, if you can't, if you want to quit, there's definitely a lot of equipment out there for you to quit. If, if, if you cannot find something in this market, you simply just don't want to quit. You don't. How many times have I said that? If a lot. you can't find something today, that is going to get you off cigarettes, you simply do not want to quit. You're not motivated enough to quit. Sorry. And, you, and you don't have to work. We had to work to get an enjoyable vape. We had to work. Nothing out of China between 2010 and 2013 worked out of the box. Or it didn't work for a long time. Or didn't work without dry hits. Didn't work without you having to gel up and down. Do priming, twist your cardos. I mean, nothing was plug and play out of China um, for two, three years, and and we literally had to modify. That's where the word you know mod came from. We had to modify a lot of the existing equipment to make it better in order for us to get an enjoyable vape. And uh, and prime example is you know what Phil's going to demonstrate for you today, it's, it's just to show you how difficult it was. For us to get into it. This this was this was the only way back then that you could get a large capacity of e-liquid in a a device that was going to continuously use it. This was yeah. it, right? And it was a cardo tank. So I have two cardomizers here, and we're gonna set up a cardo tank. And you know what's funny, D? I've got I've got two cardomizers here. I think one is a low resistance. Right. And one is a standard resistance. So we're going to see 
what the low resistance and what the standard resistance is as I pull off these condoms. So let's um, let me take here. a wild guess. The low resistance is going to be 1.8 and the standard resistance is going to be 2.5. I'm just taking guesses. I have I don't know what the numbers are. I'm just guessing. 1.8 for the low resistance, 2.5 for the standard resistance. All right, here we go. Let's screw this in. Go to my close-up cam. 2.2. That's the standard? I think that's the standard. I was close. I was close. These should this should be like 1.5-ish. Oh nope, no! That's a standard. <laughs> that's a standard one. <laughs> low resistance that is low resistance. Okay, so we'll go with the low resistance. How about that? Yeah, two point two, man, unbelievable. Low resistance, two point two. I gotta get, I gotta get a screwdriver because don't forget, I'm about to use this in a way that it was not meant to be used. Yep. Right. Yep. We're you modifying agree? it now, trying to get a long-lasting vape without us having to. Right. Fill these up and spin them in a little fucking bag like we used to. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, to remove. And by the way, no guarantees that any of this is going to work because I haven't tried this. Um, and we're going to use two uh, devices from one of my favorite modders back then, Kierfanis. Yep. Anybody remember Kierfanis? Um, where where did I have to put this? Did I? Oh, I right the boss the, first. Yeah, right? you got to mark it in the tank where where it needs right, to go. So hold on a second. Let me let me. Um, God knows if these O rings are gonna hold. Boy, this is gonna be a disaster. This could be disastrous. <laughs> it really could be. I'm gonna. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna go like there. How's that look, D? Something I like think that? a little. Maybe put put it down just a little bit more. Like there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So here's yeah. what I'm doing. All right. I'm going to ha go ahead and oh, I've heard the pop. So I'm basically, I'm punching my cardo. And if anybody knows me, before I used to do this, what did I do? I used to slot, I used to them. slot my cardos, mm -hmm. right? So that's what I just did. I made a punch right there. And I'm going to go ahead and make one on the other side. I hope I'm not doing this too low. Otherwise, it'll leak. And uh, there's the pop. Okay. So what did I just do? Uh, I made a coil head. Yep. Just like... Uh, basically you know what this is it's it's almost like a z coil because it's every z coil. z coil comes with its own 510 connection yep right all right so i'm going to prime this do you know what i'm going to prime this with me? i'm going to take a wild guess that you're going to prime it with the number one unsell selling and unsalted line the watermelon oh, peach please. what the hell did you just say Sorry. the number one best selling flavor in the unsalted line so i don't know one two three four five six seven eight nine ten maybe yeah why not? Uh, don't forget w why did i put so much here why, why is it only just a few drops because there's a lot of filler material in here guys right a lot of filler material in here um because it's not meant to be used the way i'm about to use it and i used to since, i used to take them feel and i used to like do them like a thermometer like put 10 drops and then just shake it with my hand that way the liquid would push down into the filler then put another 10 drops yeah I might have overdone it. I'm <laughs> I'm, I would say you did. You got a little I bit. Do have, I do have a little bit of liquid coming out yes, here. It's yes, okay. Yes. Making a mess. It's right. I'm telling you, this is, it's, yeah. Somebody wrote antique. Yeah. Antique. This is the shit that we had to deal with. Yep. But look what I found. Look what I found. Such a Since pretty, I'm using the Kier Fanis punch, I found a Kier Fanis tank, a cardo tank. Um, This might be one of the first devices that was top fill. Yeah. And, and where do you see top fill on this, right? Yeah. So now I got to take this. I have to insert it and get it. Out. And why Why am I pushing into it? Oh, wait till you see that. Yep. All right. So you can see my crowd tank is now in there, right? And I'm going to, this is how I have to fill it. I have to unscrew this, right? I had a few of these. Luckily, it still has the little tiny O-ring yeah. on there. Oh, see little tiny O-ring? That's, that's shocking okay. that it's still there. <laughs> and I can't, that ain't going to work. That hole is, hole is too small. I didn't have any um needle bottles yeah. so we're syringing it tonight uh, <laughs> here we go filling the uh the cardo tank. i mean literally guys uh, uh, syringes liquid. were an absolute must absolute in this era absolute requirement i you know most vapors back then looked like uh, they were all drug yes. scenes yes, because absolutely. you had a bunch of syringes lying around all over the place okay it's full i'm gonna put the little screw thing back on there <laughs> <laughs> I gotta find a mouthpiece. All right, let me just put this mouthpiece on there. Okay, that works. That works. And what do you think I'm gonna put this on? I, I'm gonna take a wild guess. You're gonna put it something that matches those those uh, notches that that tank has. 
Yeah, well, because I mean, why is that recessed? It's recessed because it's going to go over that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pro very mini. Okay. So I'm going to screw that on and look at the boy. Am I going? I'm feeling very nostalgic right now. Phil, I'm going to tell you something. That setup looks sexy as fuck, even right now. Even right now, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Doesn't it? I have no idea what to set it to. That is crazy. <laughs> well, it's, uh, I don't know, 3.7 would be a good start, I guess. All right. So one, two, three. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Power up. <laughs> All right. Four, that's 4.1. Now, what am I adjusting in? I'm adjusting in volts, yep. not watts, because back then we didn't adjust. In watts. So let's go. What did you say? 3.7 3. is where I go. All right, yeah. Let's go 3.7. Will it fire? That's a really good question. That's a good question. Yeah, well. yeah. Oh, my God. It's absolutely fired. Oh, my it God. Is absolutely fire. And, you know, you know, we always say that the stuff back then, it was harder to deal with. But, you know, the vape quality is is kind of similar so depending on what exit, we, we Dimitri and I talk about exits when you were vaping, yeah. right? And there were these different exits. And for me, the exits were the Joy 510, the CE uh, Clear Misers, the, um, the Vivanova, right? Um, Cardo Tanks, uh, and then the K-Fun for the longest yeah. time. But I wanted to go, I wanted to go beyond the K-Fun. I wanted to go before K-Fun, before Kabuki, before the Radius. So this is what I decided to show you guys tonight. Let's see. And I'm going to tell you. Well, I bet you that's tight, tighter than your butthole when I'm driving. Oh, that, oh well, <laughs> how, well, Phil, <laughs> Phil, how do you adjust the airflow? All right, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me go back here to the close-up cam. Let me show you how you adjust the airflow. Uh, you don't. <laughs> you don't. That's it. That's it's, it's basically... Um, you can see here, there's two little slots in the 510 connection. So that's where the air is coming from. And then if you take a look at the Cure Fanis uh, Cardo tank, you are going to have uh, a couple holes. There's a hole yep. right there. See it? And I think there's another one on the other side. No, I think it's only, and yeah, it's one. There it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, there's two. Good there's two. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you, you, that, that's how you adjust the airflow. You don't. And by the way, um, 3.7 is a little too low. So I'm going to I'm gonna power it up a little bit. I, why do I remember 4.2? That's what it I really, remember. if you were, uh, I mean, I guess you can, it's not a problem with that regulator with that, you know, whatever that uh, you, uh, you got that, I'm you got that, to... that 2.2 resistance of you know, four and a half volts is fine with it. Yeah. 4.2. Here we go. You know what? The flavor is definitely muted. Yeah. But if I had to, I could use that and not smoke. Yeah. All day long. That's that's just it's just I just find it so weird. I remember you. I, I me I never did the cardo tank phase cuz every cardo tank that I would it would leak. Every, I, I was yeah, just I know. you uh, never liked the cardo tanks. I, just, I was did. just not it was not my thing. It was it, I just had such a hard time with the cardo tank. Um, plus I was dripping into an HH 357 and I was so used to that pure flavor I was getting that I could not do the car tank, could not get the same flavor profile as well too. But I remember you for the longest time and, and your videos as well too, because you did a lot of videos on car tanks were the go-to to help people, um, uh, discover that. And, and going from having to fill a cardo at 10 drops at a time to a, a, a situation where you have four meals of liquid feeding the cardo constantly was a huge breakthrough, huge breakthrough, because it, it gave you that, that autonomy that we're looking for. And maybe you need to have that autonomy to get you through a very long period of time without you having to refill. And the car tank brought you that. And again, the car tank status started as something that's, you know, very high end. Then, you know, it came down to we we're buying car tanks for $5 from China. But that entire process started not by big tobacco, not by China. It started by the industry and the community and us, right? Us. This is what we talked about last week on the show. I, I remember back when car tanks first started um, on the the forums, <clears throat> you can you can like go to your hardware store. And, and find the materials that you would need to build your own cardo tank. You would have to drill it out and do a couple of different things, right? But if you had to, you could buy the stuff like at a hardware store to make a cardo tank. I tell you what, I, I did punch a little bit high, but that's okay. 
um, this ain't a bad vape. This yeah. ain't a bad. It's really not. Of course, then again, you know, when you have watermelon peach, the number one best-selling flavor in the unsalted line in anything, I mean, it's going to taste good. But you know, I might honestly, tell you, I remember you that that particular setup and the way that you're vaping it now. It is probably the most memories I have of you back in the day when when we used to be on the circuit. Do you remember I used to have um, the the lanyard that I used to put it in yep, around yep, my neck? Yep. yep. Until box yeah. mods came out, and then you had the side piece. Uh, you had something in the uh, uh, hanging off your belt, some mod. Usually the Prevary or something like that, but it, it's it's, um, it's it's a little reminiscing. But it also com comes back to the original reason why we did this segment, and it's just like, listen, tell people around you that 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 have not tried vaping is like if 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 you want to quit smoking today, by far the best way proven scientifically with all the studies that have come out, vaping is by far the most effective and easiest way and the most pleasurable way. Go ahead, Phil. What were the uh, what were the settings? Do you remember? Uh, I don't remember at all. Yeah, let's see. Power up, power, power down. down. Power off, power off. On off. Okay, I'll keep it on. No, on. Okay. After that, I think it's just going to lock into on right now. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Was it five? Power up. Power down, power on, power off, check battery, mm -hmm. atomizer, atomizer, that yeah. would be resistance, 1.8, 1.8. Oh, yeah, that lowered a little bit, yeah. It did. That's interesting. And I think that was, I think that was the last, yeah. the, the last selection on it, wasn't yeah. it? But, but you see, I mean, now we have screens, we have auto draws, we have all this, this convenience. I mean, even the menu system to get to the Proveri is a little bit of a, a pain in the ass, you know? And this was an easier menu system yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. But I mean, this, this is the stuff that we dealt with folks. And we still, we still did not smoke cigarettes. Yeah. Tom Lewis says he still uses car tanks. Wow. Tom, that's uh, good for you, buddy. Ain't nothing wrong with that. As long as it's vaping and you like it, that's all that matters. Who cares what you're using? Um, but but the, the, the innovation journey, um, sometimes we forget the pleasure part of vaping. So for a lot of people, even looking at that, we'll, we'll say, man, whew, you guys had it rough. But for a lot of people, that was part of the pleasure. I know for me, every time that I built an atomizer or when I finally had like an ah moment where, where I built something and it was vaping great, even that process of getting there is part of the pleasure of you completely forgetting that you're a smoker and now that you're into this new era of nicotine, of cleaner, safer, less harmful nicotine delivery, right? So that pleasure principle, sometimes innovation might remove it and it makes it into a task. And I guarantee you that that removal, yes, we can see the overall picture of vaping has gotten better, easier, more efficient, but it's also that the easy factor sometimes starts initiation as well, too. Because I yeah. guarantee you what, no shithead Timmy Bibby, Billy Bob Jr. fuckhead in high school would sit and do exactly what Phil did now to get no some bubblegum ice. And so, they're not going to yeah. do it. Yeah. So, Mowgli, yes, L L L O or L0 was lights on and off. Um, so like, I want to add on to that, too, D. And, and you're absolutely right. Um, Easy is both good and bad for the industry. You know, we, we've been proponents of easy for a long time. Um, but, but maybe if you go too easy uh, and you make it too accessible, that it gets, it gets in the wrong hands. Um, and, and you know what? In a perfect world, it, it should be easy. It should be accessible. And, you know, the wrong, it should prevent, be prevented from getting in the wrong hands by number one, the shop or the C store. And, and number two, the parents, right? Okay. The parents. All right. Um, but also it was, it was, it was part of the pleasure principle, but I think it was also part of why so many people stayed with vaping because it was that tinkering and it was, you know, like some people, we used to call it fiddly, but I, I think people stayed with it because they wanted to conquer fiddly. 
they they wanted to they wanted to to do what it took to make it work and when it did work because of the things that they did right there was like a sense of accomplishment i can remember to this day the first coil i wrapped and i lit it up and it glowed i was fucking blown away yeah. i was like 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 um uh, i can't think of the guy's name or the movie it was like oh, i i have created fire right i mean it, it was just such an incredible feeling and when you had that feeling you're like Oh my God, this is, this is it. This is vaping, man. This is like, I'm a vapor. Like I made my own coil. How cool is that? And I think it's, it's unfortunate that people today, they don't get to take that journey. They don't, they don't get to get off on the exits that, that we got off. They, they don't get to struggle through it and, and meet the people that we met at the, at the vape shows. And I b- believe that is all part, that is all part of the, the success of vaping and not smoking because of vaping. I truly believe that. I I think about, um, I saw a comment that said it's fun for the right person. You're absolutely right. Rifle man. I, I agree with that. However, it does beg to question where does the community stand at that point? Because if, if we just transition into a throwaway, then that kind of ends innovation as well too, because if there's no community for people to be interested into coming out with new products and and trying to chase that dragon or try to improve and put more innovation into regular vape products, that's all built around the customers that support it. China is not going to make products. Uh, and trust me, listen, we've got a lot of ideas with Phil that have been cut down <laughs> with, with, uh, with, with Inigan. But I get it because commercially they're not viable anymore like it used to be. The, the community aspect of itself has died. And, I mean, you can look all around you. That's, that's something that's very easy noticeable from Facebook groups dying. I was just uh, – by, by, by chance, I was scrolling through Facebook, and I caught a post from Cloud Chasers – group the cci cloud chasers um industries whatever that was that used to be cci, you know, CCI. Wow. and somebody had posted there what happened to this group this is where it all started blah 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 and this just like there's no action the high-end mods the the all these groups are dead uh, all the vaping groups are dead on facebook youtube channels are dead um companies are dead so if you don't have that community aspect that desires that or can transition to that then that that part of vaping dies as well too so no, by, by the way, yeah, I just did the math. Uh, Four point two volts at one point nine ohms. That's that's nine point three watts. Wow, I'm crank it up a little bit more. Wow, you need, yeah, you need to have a little bit more. I thought it was two point two. So yeah, I probably can go up to five volts. Honestly, at uh, at uh, at that low resistance of one point nine that it is now. Kevin Spice says I rebuilt Kinger a Pro Tanks. Yes, a lot of people do that. Um. Let me look at some of these comments here. I rebuilt Pro Tanks too, says John Q. Public. Yeah, the rebuilding the Pro Tank was actually pretty easy, and it was uh, it was something that very very common amongst the industry. But that is, but that goes back to that goes back to like what we were saying earlier. Like you know, you'd come up with this idea or even a tip and a trick or a hack. If you this is that's the word that that, that people use on TikTok today. It's a hack on how to rebuild pro tanks. And everybody's like, oh yeah, let's try it. And everybody would try it. I mean, that was part of the community and we just don't see that anymore. And that's why you've seen that just products slow down as well too. You had this huge shift in China. Uh, every email, every contact I get on LinkedIn, every contact I get on WeChat, immediately the first question is, we have this disposable, how many do you wanna buy? Immediately. Immediately, that is the the the, the question. Um, so we're we're at a very you know very interesting intersection of of this industry moving forward. Yeah, Dimitri, uh, but he always bitches at me for for not checking my email often enough. I, I, I my my taste your juice email account right now is I would say ninety five percent spam. No matter what I do to to clear it out, Chinese companies trying to sell me disposables or. Um, uh, cooperation. We want to advertise on your YouTube channel. Uh, please try our clothing or our game or our software, like which has nothing to do with vaping. But you know, it's like I have to sift through all this horse shit to get to uh, a, a real email. Melissa Simmons says, "I would like to try and make my own coals. I have wire and I have cotton." Uh, Melissa, listen, I can set up a Zoom room. Me and you and Phil can have a th- uh, a th- uh, th- uh, th- uh, a. <laughs> 
we can have a you know a, a conference and we'll show you how to build your coils. And we do we do private sessions as well too, Melissa. No problem. We will help you out, Melissa. We will not let anybody go back to cigarettes. Um, my first vape was a blue, says Joel Oliver. It had like a fake pack of cigarettes and a foil over them that broke over the, the center of the hitting element. Terrible. Yeah, I mean, th there was a lot of bad products in the market, but look out of those bad products is what I'm saying, Joel, is that how we this industry was built out of those bad products and more people were using them and, and, and products got better and feedback and a lot of great minds that contributed to to create these products and China flourished. And, uh, and I just don't see that. I don't think that we're seeing that much of innovation anymore. I mean, the title of the show is Innovation Journey. But where did, I mean, I feel like it's come to a standstill. I think that it's come. Now, the big thing is to clone Billet Box, apparently. That used to be, Phil, two years ago, that was a huge taboo. I mean, do you remember oh. when we had this conversation in China, like almost two and a half years ago, but now apparently every company is putting out a, a, a clone of a Boro and in a, a billet box, which I find nobody's saying anything. Everybody's like, oh, yeah, it's great. You know why? You know why? Because we're at a point that nobody gives nobody a cares. shit. Yes. And there would have been so much outrage over that if any that, other time. That core. Well, I, I think, OK, I mean, we could go back and we could look at a couple other reviewers that 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 got screwed and the outrage was just un like, you know, I stand with this person and like all the reviewers like, you know, uh, they, they said they wouldn't review this company's products. And, you know, yeah. Dimitri and I get, you know, we get we get not necessarily cloned, but copied all the time. I mean, some blatant like bl just blatant shit back then. Man, there was like all kinds of uh, outrage, outrage when, when things were, were cloned or something was like very, very similar to something else. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. And, and now it just seems to be, okay, it's all right. Fuck it. Who cares? Yeah. Um, by the way, um, speaking of uh, transitioning and, and just to wrap this thing up, the pleasure principle is a huge important part of you to stay off cigarettes in the long term. Period. I, I anybody that disputes that, I think I think that either they're new at vaping or they're old in vaping and they're happy where they're at. So the pleasure, but the pleasure principle of vaping is a multifaceted tree. It's not just getting the vape, quitting smoking. There's a lot of parts to go into this, and our friendships, our the new liquids, our, our innovation, our community aspect, our get-together aspect, our, even if it's just online, all that is part of this pleasure principle of vaping, and it's not a task for us. We don't get up in the morning and light a cigarette because we have to have it with our coffee. That's not how vaping works. That's not the pleasure principle of vaping, so that's very, very important. But do you, if you really want to quit smoking, if you really want to quit smoking, the best way proven is vaping, and the best time is now because the innovation has made this journey to make it available to you no matter what you're looking for and what's going to work for you. I guarantee you that there's a product on the market right now that will help you quit smoking. And with that, I will segue into we have an update from Bridget's dad. If you want to give a little background on it as well, too. Oh, we do. Uh, let me pull up the. Uh, let's see. You just you just caught me uh, by surprise there, D. Buddy, look, I'm gonna you know, I'm trying to to keep the show rolling. You know. So, um, Bridget Con. Well, we were we were doing the um uh, the premiere of the uh, uh, it would be the VDLV Science Show, and Bridget was uh, in, in the chat. She was talking about an issue that she was having with her father, and th that he tried vaping. And it didn't work for him. And she wanted to know what, what she could do to, to, to get him to, to try again. And I said, just, you know, email me behind the scenes. Let, let's talk. Let's, let's find out. Let's ask some questions because that's important, right? Asking questions is important. That's why a C store will never be as good at making a transition as a vape shop will. Right. And uh, I did get some information from her and I got her out a kit and the kit was kind of a trial. It was, a, it was a trial to see if, if he could use it. And if it could be successful for him. And I just got a message from Bridget, which is fantastic. Just a little update on my dad. Uh, I called him just a little bit ago and he says, everything is going good. Uh, he preferred one liquid over another one. Uh, we're trying to identify which liquid that is so that, you know, she can get more for him. 
He said that he still takes a few drags off of his cigarette, but then he puts it out and he goes back to the vape. And she said when she was talking to him on the phone, he could she could even hear him using the vaporizer and not smoking, which is fantastic. He has no complaints about the device so far. I will be placing an order for for more tanks. Um, and Bridget, I'm going to talk to you about that. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something else out. Um, as uh, I'm not sure if his shops where he is carries what he needs, which is sad. That's sad. Uh, thank you again for helping my dad. This is a step in the right direction. And I do believe that he will be cigarette free sooner than he thinks. That's fantastic. That is good news. Fantastic. Very good news. Right? Very nice of you to right. help out. And I will tell you that no matter what happens, if you ever need any help, anybody, not just Bridget or Melissa, <clears throat> Melissa, by the way, the offer still stands. Um, if if anybody needs any help or you know people that need help, you just bring them here. Everybody here, uh, the, the people in the chat are very friendly, very helpful. We're here. We can help. We'll take time and make sure that you understand everything. If you're doing something wrong, if you're not doing something wrong, if you need guidance, if you need uh, instructions, we're here to help. We, we will turn on a dime on this show and make it the smoker show Absolutely. if we need to. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, understand that and know that. If we, we need we, to if we need to help somebody, we are going to go into full smoker show mode and we'll take care of people here on this show. We we swing both ways. Oh my opinions from both ends. You are listening to the DP show with Dimmy and Phil. <laughs> Some quirks. I, you know, I, I just Melissa, just that little heads up, okay? You know, <laughs> Just a little. Hold on. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, that, hey Melissa. I, I just a little heads up. Um, what are you trying just, to tell us? Just, just a warning that um, you know, with the the, the three way Zoom coil call with coil Dimitri, coil coil. What are you call, Greek? It, it, it He's getting nervous, be, Melissa. It will probably be naked coiling with Dimitri, <laughs> and I just I just want you to know. See that how nervous now. he gets, Melissa. He gets very nervous <laughs> when he's talking to us. I have to step in. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, there's no other way to build with it. I mean, I don't build with pants. Who builds with pants? Uh, right. Nobody builds with pants. Nobody. Who really. <laughs> would do that? Coils come much better when you're naked. <laughs> All right. Some questions. Here we go. <laughs> the links. Can we expect an Aries 3 coming soon? Uh, links, we've made a final push for uh, an Aries. Uh, we have a really good name for it, and we've got a couple of ideas. However, Looking at our timeline, because Inikin gives us a timeline. It gives us a, we're going to do this. It's going to be launched here. We're going to do this. It's going to be launched here. We're going to do this. It's going to be launched here. You know, we have this timeline. Uh, not until the first um, quarter of 2022 can we uh, entertain it. So we have a, our schedules made out to the first quarter of 2022. Aside from the Chroma 217 and the Z-Force, which is launching in December. And please support that product. That is under our name, uh, under the performance series of, of uh, Inigan. We have three more new products that are coming in the first quarter of 2022. I cannot tell you. I cannot tell you what they are. Uh, but um, so that pipeline has been made. But we do have a push for, for a final Aries, uh, one more RTA. We want to put a third one out with a few changes that, that, um, that we think it's going to be very, very exciting. Right, Phil? Yeah. Uh, we uh, we have uh, what I what I consider is a fantastic name for it. Um, we've we've already pitched it once. Uh, some other products got in the way. Uh, we are going to pitch it again with uh, with the new name, and hopefully they will go. Yeah, you know, I mean, look, Dimitri and I pitch products all the time, right? Uh, it's just a matter of you know what Inikin says yes to and what Inikin says no to. Uh, and if they say no, then we can we give it a little while, and then we pitch it again. Right. But uh, I think there I think there does need to be uh, at least one more Aries. Yeah. Yes. And uh, and hopefully if we do one more show before Christmas, uh, we'll have the packaging for the Z Force and the Chroma 217. They should be sending it uh, to us, the final packaging at some point. Maybe we'll do uh, one full presentation of that. And I'm sure Phil will do a presentation for his channel, which brings me to the next question. <laughs> Aaron Badman asks, hey there, P. Busardo, any reviews coming out in the near future? Don't think so, man. I do not think so. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing reviews anymore. Uh, I think I will be uh, focused on this show. Uh, I will be focused on working with Anakin. I will be focused on uh, doing um, uh, product presentations when Anakin comes out with a new product. And I think that's what I'm going to be doing now at this point. Um, I just, I, I don't like what, what reviewing has become. 
Um, I think I think reviewers are being used uh, by uh, a lot of these companies, and I have certain opinions on some of the companies that I won't share with you right now. So that's all I'm going to say. Is that fair enough, D? Is that good? Buddy, if you're happy with it, I'm happy with it. I'm not going to, to argue. Who am I to argue? Uh, we do have uh, 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 some eSIC Click Awards that are up right now. If you guys would have the kindness, I put the link in the chat. Phil will put it in the replay description as well, too. Uh, the eSIC Click Awards are up. All the nominations are there. We're nominated for like eight categories. If you ain't got nothing better to do and you love me and Phil, um, we're not asking for super chats, but you can certainly go over there and drop a vote for our products and Inigan products, and we would appreciate this. All right. We would absolutely appreciate that. That would mean a lot to us. Thank you, guys. Um, Glenn Watson, what's silica? Silica is a glass fiber wicking material that we used to use back in the day before cotton was invented. <laughs> That's basically what it was. Silica it's, was the silica was the thing that Dimitri would not get off of because yes. he said he was he said he was allergic to cotton. But yeah, apparently that's apparently not I true. was allergic to cotton that I was buying at CVS though. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably what I was allergic to. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, it was just a just a glass fiber, and you know the coil was wrapped around it, and it would suck the liquid up as soon as you heated it up. Very very simple. Army man Brad, can we sign a petition to strip the pod of the MVP name? <laughs> you're gonna laugh about this brad you're really gonna laugh about this brad i just want to tell you we went to bat before we went to bat for it brad for that petition it and we failed <laughs> but we tried we, we we're tried. on the same page we are definitely on the same page i think dimitri has heard me bitch about this many times now. yes 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 Absolutely. But keep in mind that the, some of the products is just not our call, right? So not much we can do it. Yeah. Uh, Aaron Batman says, fair call, Phil. Respect your decisions. And I think if you look at the at the review, I mean, there's just a handful. Of By the way, on the uh, favorite reviewer, uh, va uh, vote for Mike Vapes. Uh, because he's our buddy and he's Greek and uh, he should win. <laughs> Um, so on the EC Click Awards, I mean, like we vote yeah. for Mike Vapes. Yeah, don't um, vote for me, please. I don't, I don't review anymore. It don't doesn't review me, But yeah, Mike Vapes. That would be a Mike good, Vapes. Mike good Vapes. Vote. Um, or Daniel. Daniel would be good. Too. Or Daniel. Daniel's, or good, Daniel. Daniel's a good friend. Yeah. Daniel's a good, good, good choice. Yep. Um, Daniel or Mike Vapes? I asked you to remind me of something. Yeah, you did. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> you didn't write it oh, down. Oh, I know what it was. Um, oh. Mike Wittenberg. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> No. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Listen, we got 15 minutes. Let's fucking, let's light up the, uh, the, the let's get people fired up over here. Have you guys in the chat, have you guys in the chat been following this Rittenhouse um, uh, trial? This kid that, that shot up a couple of people in those protests? I, I, by the way, I have been glued to the trial like i like I yeah 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 me too me too me too me too i, I mean get, it's, i can't get away from how it. can you i mean this is like a train wreck i mean this is which again is bad this is bad i watched a documentary the other day about the menendez brothers and that was the launch of court tv but the menendez brother trial was the launch of court that's where everybody was glued to the tv these two kids killed their parents but i've been watching this thing and Look, I, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not a judge I'm not an attorney uh, I mean I have guns as well too but I'm not a gun craze or whatever but I will tell you that this is the most bizarre trial I have ever seen in my life. A, this is just my personal opinion by the way. This is, does not reflect and the opinions might, of the by DB the way, show. Dimitri and I have not talked. We about have not. This. We, We're doing this live. We, we knew we were going to talk about it during yes. the show. Right, but but I don't know what he's gonna say, and he probably knows what I'm gonna say. But, but this might get interesting. Yes, so let's yes, see we have happens. not talked about this at all. But this is this is just my thoughts on it. I am shocked. I am shocked that this kid is on trial, and his parents are not. His parents need to be on trial as well too. This is an underage kid that went with an AR-15 at a protest. What parent? What parent allows this to happen to their kid? I didn't. Didn't the mother drive him there? I, th that's what I'm saying. Why is not? Why is she not on trial? Number one. Number two. 
the oh, shit hey, that well, is hey, look like why why aren't parents on trial for having their kids vape too? absolutely I, mean, I agree okay. with you i i don't disagree with you i don't okay. disagree. i'm just saying what my opinion is don't get all I'll, I'll, I'll let you i'll give you the opportunity <laughs> um number two I mean, I'm seeing this. The, the judge is scolding the prosecutor, rightfully so in some cases, right? He's going, but also, he seems like he's a little biased. Okay, whatever. Today, I saw the kid use a raffle machine that they use at the bingo for the old people's home to pick out the jurors that are not going to be. They're going to be. The, I have never seen this before. I'm not an attorney. Am I missing something here? It's like he was drawing for a fucking, you know, carrot cake that Miss Linda cooked down the street out of the fucking raffle thing to get the names out of there. I, I am that, that's shocked. Just a, that's, just a, that's just a state thing. I mean, this is a weird state thing. That is like, I've never so seen that before weird. either, but it's a weird state thing. Look, I don't know if the kid's guilty or not. I'm going to let the jury of this peers uh, um, um, decide that. But. Anytime you're going to go into that situation, in a situation like that, and you have a gun feel, there is a possibility that shit's going to happen. Shit's going to go down. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. I, I know, I know where you're going and, and I agree with you. Shouldn't have been there. Shouldn't have had that gun. Shouldn't, 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 shouldn't. But the problem is that he was there. Yes. So you have to, you have to try him based on what happened not based on well he shouldn't have been there yeah right so you know with that in mind like and, and i hear you about the judge i don't think the judge should be like as unprofessional as he was you know like scolding the uh, the prosecutor yeah because yeah, yeah. He basically did like he yelled at me the way you yell at me yes sometimes. yes yes right. yes that's exactly right i horrible. thought about that too it's horrible sometimes they're really terrible um <clears throat> and I, I i didn't think that was right but i also think that the judge I think he's a constitutionalist, right? And I think that's going to rub people the wrong way. And, and I don't think it should. I don't think it should. Um, so I, you know, I, look, I'm a lawyer. I'm just watching it, watching it and just fascinated by yes, the whole thing. Yes, yes. Fascinated by the prosecutor aiming a, a, a gun. Okay, be it unloaded, but aiming a gun at the jury with his finger on the trigger. Just like, are you kidding me? That was so, so fucking bizarre. Oh my God! If 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 the judge needed to scold him on something, it would have been on that, and the judge didn't say anything about that. That's what no, I and, and I think that's, when that's the, what's when the, weird. When the um uh, the other side um the defender uh, the the defendant's lawyer when he picked up the gun, the, the judge did ask, "Was it um, was it checked?" And then he asked he asked him to check it again. But when the when the prosecutor picked it up, he just aimed it at the jury. <laughs> like, it's fucking you know, so I tell nuts. you, like I, like I said, I, I I'm not really like I don't watch crime dramas. That's not my thing. But I this do. whole thing is just like it's really interesting. And the interesting part is that you're hearing the stuff that the jury isn't. Like when the jury goes in the room and they can't hear the, yeah, the, the yeah, shit yeah, that's yeah. going on. That's kind of that's like the interesting thing to me. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, it's. Um, I, I guess. I, I guess if I if I if I if I really sit there and, and digest it, right? If I'm in my house, right, uh, or if I'm walking to my car and somebody attacks me, right, and I feel my life is threatened, I'll pull my gun out and I will shoot him. I get that. Yes. Yes. But if I hear, you know, there's this, and I think that I think you're with me on this page on this uh, subject because I know I know you. Um, if I hear there's a, a rally with guns downtown Chattanooga, I, guess what? I am not taking my gun and going down there, Phil. I'm just not. I mean, I mean, I'm not doing it. I'm not taking my tank and going down there. I'm <laughs> fucking be nowhere near that. Should be like, oh yeah, I'll watch that on TV. Thanks very much. You know, I mean, it. Well, first of all, I wouldn't go down there because it's they're rioting. I mean, yeah. they're rioting. Yeah. Like I would not be part of a riot, right? Yeah. But but to to put yourself in harm's way and then, you know, you, to bring an AR down there, I mean, it's like you're kind of asking for trouble. You know, you, you, you're kind of looking for trouble. Um, so it's um, it's really I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit tossed. I'm a little bit I'm a little bit tossed up by that. And, and the thing is, is like, th I think this is what everybody's getting caught up on. Yeah. He shouldn't have been there. He was asking for trouble. He shouldn't have had. Yeah, that well, no, I'm not. 
I'm I'm not caught up on that. I'm really caught up on the people that are making it political and taking sides, just like vaccine, just like everything else that's happening. Right, you fart right now, and they're gonna be like, "Oh, that smelled a little bit like a fucking snowflake." You know what well, I'm saying? Not only is it is everybody's it political, making it political, but, it's, but not only is it political, but it's racist because everything is racist. These right, days. right, everything, right, 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 everything right, right, right. is racist now. I'm so sick of it. I'm so over it. Yeah. I yeah I I, I kind of I have sentiment what Brad is saying um where he's saying he was a white knight wanting to scare away looters and became a soldier when he was attacked he was a kid with a gun being stupid but people try to attack a guy with a gun I I listen I agree with that I don't disagree with that I'm I'm not I, I think that's a very eloquent way of putting it Brad for sure he he turned into that after people attacked him with a gun uh, and, and obviously he did what he had to do to protect himself there's no there's no doubt about it but, but that's it's just like saying. how do you like, prevent you, that you could you could look at this in so many ways yes, you could also yes. look at it as as like you know well what happens when you want to protect your environment your neighborhood right and they're telling the police no you don't protect your neighborhood so now if, if you go out there with guns to protect your neighborhood are you the bad guy or are you the heroes? Because now you're protecting your name. Like the, yeah, it, it yeah, can yeah. go in so many different ways. Right. So, I mean, you could look at the, you could look at the kid as like kind of stupid, or you could look at the kid as, well, well, he kind of went down there to help, you know, he went down there with a med kit. He went down there to protect property, yeah. you know, but so there's so many different ways you can look at this. I agree. It's going to be very, very interesting. No matter what the verdict is going to be, some people are going to be unhappy and it's going to be a shit show. It's going to be fucking, you know, it's going to be, you know, fires and protests and riots. That's what and- I don't like. That's what I don't like. I don't, I don't like the fact that communities are being held hostage if, if a decision doesn't go the way you want it to. I don't like that. I, 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 I just want to say that he was not qualified to walk around with a gun to protect I, I i need to put that i ha, i have to in my good conscience put that out there you know yeah my kid is 19 i've shown her how to shoot a gun but i would never put her in a situation where i say well here's a gun and go down there and protect you're not qualified for that as well too so you have to have some qualifications in order to to do that as well too so there, there's that's that part of me in the in the back as well that's kind of eating at me as well too but, yeah, but like, but, but go back to the other scenario. Go back to the scenario where your neighborhood is in trouble, your homes are in trouble, yeah, and the police are told not to protect your homes in your neighborhood. Yeah, right? yeah I mean, so look, now I you, mean, his now dad. You, what, his... You're, you, what you're setting it up. What you're setting up is a bunch of non-qualified people coming to go in, in yes. and protect their shit. You make a good point. You make a good point. You make a good right? point. You make a good point. I can't, I can't argue that either. I can't. I know, that's why it's, I can't. It's, it, the, you know, I always try. With everything, like even like vaping reviews, think about it, right? Yeah. I try to think about how the direct lunger and how the restricted direct lunger and the mouth to lunger and what they like. And I, like, I try, I, I like, I never come down on a product because it doesn't suit me. I try to think about everything and everybody. And like, just like this, I'm trying to think about it from all angles and be fair from all angles. And it's, and it, I, I can see it from all angles. I, I love this comment, and I love the name that made this comment. <laughs> Sunny Crackbeats <laughs> said, <laughs> "There will not be a single riot over this. This is white on wine crime." Uh, yeah, I mean, it might be, but you know, a lot of everything is so racially and 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 uh, and politically fueled today, Sunny. You know, I went and got oh, my. I, I, I totally disagree with Sunny. I, I guarantee you, if he gets I, if he gets let go, if he gets off on everything, there's going to be riots. I, I would not I, be surprised. I went and got my booster shot. I told you a couple of weeks ago or. T- 10 days ago, whatever. And I posted a picture on Facebook. I took me and my mother-in-law at 85 years old to get her booster shot. And one of my friends on Facebook posted something stupid on my, on a, on a comment. I just turned it completely political. Uh, and I'm, and I, I'm just like, what the fuck? You just can't say anything anymore without people just getting their panties in a bunch, man. It's just, it's just fucking unbelievable. It's just, it's, oh, man, it's how just long have I been crazy. saying that? Yeah, it's yeah, it's absolutely like, and again, it goes to some like, because I don't agree with you, I must hate you. Yeah, yeah. That's just, that's just, it shouldn't be. Yeah. It, it could be that we have different opinions on stuff, but you know what? You're still a human being. You still bleed red. We're still both Americans. Fuck people. Let's, let's get along a little bit. Yeah. I'm Greek American, by the way, too. Shit. What? I'm Greek American, too. Whatever. Okay, I'm Italian American. <laughs> 
<laughs> Lynx asks if I have any stores in Kalamata. I do not, my friend. I do not. Kalamata. Uh, all my stores are in Athens and soon. I um, just made this the other day, Phil. Look at that. Oh, Opening Albania. up in Albania next month. You very, you very are the man. You here are in are Albania. Uh, by the way, in, in Kalamata, there's a store called Vape Now. Uh, the lady that owns it, her name is Electra. So if you want to send somebody there, send them there. Very, very nice. Uh, great shop. Carries all Inican products, of course. And a great partner with us uh, down there in Kalamata. Vape now. Very, very nice uh, You place. You are spreading uh, faster than a genital rat. <laughs> I don't know about that. Unbelievable. I need to take on some investors. I need to open up like 10 shops by next year. That way, how much, before, how much it you go, need? before it goes out. I don't know, about a million dollars. Oh, well, count me out. <laughs> I'm counting you out. Uh, all right, listen. We didn't want to get the we we didn't want to get the chat fired up, but I think it was, I think it was it was a good um, good discussion to have. I think it was a good. Well, um, but but isn't this what like, Matt Matt Cully does? Doesn't he like type something like really like you know? He, you know he deleted that he little runs. pussy, that little tiny lip pussy, <laughs> and I knew I knew he was going to do this about the day before he goes on vacation for his birthday. He makes a post about this exact subject, about the right in house. And then it just, you know, he does it on purpose. It turned into a shit show. And then the pussy goes and deletes. I've never, never done that. He deletes it. He's like, well, I'm getting ready to go on my birthday and Vanessa's bitching at me because I made this <laughs> post. <laughs> I can just imagine how that Vanessa busts in the door from work, kicks down the door. Motherfucker, what are you doing posting that shit on Facebook? Take it down quickly. So that's exactly how it went down in that house. Because we know who wears the pants. But... um yeah, man, that was that, that was funny. It, no, we we're not we're not we're not trying to get to get everybody fired up. It's just a nice discussion. No matter what you believe, whether you think he's guilty or innocent or in between, like I am, I'm in, in the between crowd. I, I I still like you. I don't hate you. So that, that doesn't make a difference. It's just having a discussion. It's just that I'm this fascination with this in this 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 court TV thing. I think plays a huge role in dividing this country and it shouldn't be it shouldn't be televised it sh this is this is part of the problem that we have now you it, know it is it is way more than just the court case yeah. it is it is it is the CNN versus Fox versus versus left versus right they are doing everything 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 to just divide this nation and it's just it's horrible what's yeah. going on it's all, and you know, like I, I am on my phone, I have Fox and I have CNN and I go back and forth. You know why I go back and forth? Because I like to get both opinions because yeah. I, I, because I like to choose for myself, not be told how to feel about something, but rather to get both sides of the opinion and choose for myself. Yeah. Right. And you know, I just don't think that's happening. Yeah. It, it, it's, it, it's the, the literally mainstream media is, uh, you know, you remember what I wrote when COVID first started to hit and everything started getting closed down. You remember what I wrote? I wrote that, you know, with all of these cancellations, with all of these closings, the one thing that's not getting shut down and not getting closed that has the ability to heal this country. Unlike anything else is mainstream media in its current format. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that. I think all 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 of the all of the evil, all of the things that are dividing us are just being perpetuated by mainstream media. Yeah, yeah, they just take it. Good, it's yeah, not good. they overblow it. No matter what it is, or it's not. By the way, here it is. Uh, this is the page vape now, and the owner's name is Electra. Electra. Whoa! Wow. Um, yeah, but no matter what the issue is, they're gonna make it into something that it's. But they do it on purpose to get people fired up, depending on which side that they are at. Plain and simple. And I, I agree that this is not a racist thing because it was white on white crime. However, you are seeing the media say, well, if this was a black guy, you know, he would have gotten to the electric chair. It, you, you see him plugging that in to make it into a racist thing, even though I agree with you. It's not a racist thing. But this is the portrayal, like Phil is saying, is just pushing it into the minds. And now you have a, a certain group of people that might get upset for absolutely no reason because they shouldn't be, but they are. Because that's the narrative that, that, that is being pushed. Like, like, I mean, 
I'm telling you, everything. They they turn everything racist these days. It's really sad. It's really I, sad I hate that I've on. lost. Fi- I mean, I've lost friends through vaping, obviously, but I've, but but I've lost friends through this uh, this current state of the last two three years and and making everything political. One thing that is not racist is watermelon peach, the number one best selling flavor <laughs> in the unsalted sure. line. Everybody, for sure, for sure. This is, it crosses colors. It crosses. You know, uh, race, everything, everything can enjoy this right here. This could, I, this could, could solve the, the Middle together. East. This would solve the Middle East crisis bring in the a world heartbeat. Together, right here. You give everybody in the Middle East to vape watermelon peach, they're all going to get, they're going to be singing yeah. Kubaya. Yeah, absolutely. So, so, <laughs> soon to be, well, I'm not going to say. Yeah, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't, don't say anything because that's not coming until next summer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but but I'm the same way. Look, I I got vaccinated. My whole family got vaccinated. But I you know and I you know I post a picture that I got vaccinated. But I don't push and tell people, oh, you should get vaccinated. In my county, feel only 37 percent of people have been vaccinated. Only 37 percent. We live in this country that's giving away vaccines. You go to India, people are begging. In Greece, people are begging for them. They can't get them. But I don't get out there and say, well, you're not vaccinated. You're a douchebag. I'm never going to talk to you again. Or you are a snowflake because you're believing into the vaccine or you're not believing it. You know, I don't do that. I just do what, I, what I'm going to do for me, myself. I'm not going to judge you whether you take the vaccine or not. But, I mean, it's just people are just making it so ugly and, and, and rude and evil and nasty. It's, it's turning nasty. It's one thing to say I disagree with you. Yeah. It's another one to say, well, fuck you and your family. You know what I'm saying? Because you got vaccinated. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I can't I, believe I, that. I actually know somebody who's not going to their family's house because the family doesn't want them there because one of the kids isn't vaccinated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's like, crazy. Oh my that's God, crazy. It's just a kid, you know? You know, you know what I don't understand? When, when like mainstream media is, or not mainstream media, but, but social media is trying to get rid of misinformation. Why are all the flat earther groups still allowed? Well, I mean, apparently there's some people that, that, that uh, you got to give them the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> they believe in it. What are you going to do? Yeah. But I mean, that's, it's, it's obviously misinformation, isn't it? Well, some people still believe in fear. What are you going to do? Of course it's misinformation. I don't get it. <laughs> what do you mean you don't get it? I'm just going to drink my You alcohol. can't just cancel them out just because they believe that the earth is flat. Hey, Robin. Robin from Ocala finally uh, signed up for YouTube and is participating in the chat. I see. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, you know what really bugs my game? Let me tell you what really, really pisses me off. Let's just keep going. Yeah, let's go. Let go me tell you what really pisses me off. Come on, here it comes. Don't, it, don't get on TikTok. That's not, well, you're never going to get on TikTok. But. I barely know. What <laughs> I know. Just- so. I'm on TikTok. This is the thing now that they have. All the girls from OnlyFans have made TikTok accounts. All of them. By the way, if, if, if listen, I know if you're a guy, if your wife is watching you or whatever and you don't want to answer, that's fine. You know, but, the, but by the way, does but, anybody <laughs> find it at least a little bit concerning that Dimitri knows this and he's going to continue on? Go ahead, go no, ahead, anyway. no, because Only you know me. I, I know all aspects of social media for you really, other reasons. You really do. Other reasons. Do. It's not like I get on TikTok because I want to be on. I'm not even on. I'm, you think I'm on Facebook because I want to be on Facebook? I just had this conversation the other day. I said, as soon as we retire from the vaping industry, I'm gone. I'm just turning I, everything I, off. I, I'm, I'm barely there now, and I, have, yeah, I want nothing I to do with social media. I can't wait. The last time Phil posted a picture promoting Anakin products was 2007. Uh, so anyway, so I was, I, I'm, I'm on TikTok and I'm scrolling and, you know, you see these girls and they're like, you know, dancing like sexy or they have like a blanket in front of them or they're holding like a very skimpy bikini. You're like, oh shit, I'm going to see some titties. But what they do is listen to this, this bait, listen to this bait and switch feel. They have this thing where they say, click my sound and you click it. That's to take you to their OnlyFans page so you can pay to see their titties. That, that, my friend, is misinformation. Forget about flat earth. I'm buying in the flat earth if I can see some titties. But I don't, I just don't accept you teasing me like that. And they're all doing it now. It used to be like one, two maybe. But now that is the big thing. You're getting all fired up. It's like you getting on Pornhub and you're like, you know, you see this this movie or or scene or whatever, and you're like, oh my god, I haven't seen this. This is like my niche, right? My 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 category of porn that I want to see. And then you click it, and it tells you, 
it shows you like the beginning of the scene and then, oh, you want to see the end? Go to the website, xxxx.com, whatever, and buy it. Fuck that. Way, uh, why am I, if I want to buy porn, why am I on Pornhub? I'm not going to be yeah. on Pornhub if I want to buy porn. By the way, uh, some of those videos do exist on Pornhub. They want <laughs> you to like, watch the whole thing. Am I the only one that's, that, that's thinking like this? Am I, am I the only one that's thinking like I know I'm not the only one that's thinking like that. Please. <laughs> no, I'm right there with you, brother. Yeah, it's a tease. It's 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 an unfair tease. I'm the only one. I get either all the all the guys are watching with their wives. <laughs> oh, they they they're all. Vic Nesham says, "Hey, Demi, I lost 110 pounds since we lost each other." M O V N O V D O. Congratulations, Vic. Congratulations, hey, Vic. Good I haven't seen Vic yeah, around in a very while. long time. Very very long time. Uh, Dimitri is tricking on TikTok. I'm not. I'm not. Listen, I'm just sitting in bed and I'm just scrolling. You know, I go to Instagram stories, uh, which is another cesspool. But, but, and then I, you know, I'll get on TikTok. I follow like a couple of um, Greek trappers. I'm, I'm really into Greek trap music, by the way. I'm really, really, like, What's really Greek trap music. Well, you know what trap music is? Like, you know, the, it's the the kind of music that I listen to here, right? But in Greek, dude, it is the it's the best thing since sliced bread. It's like rap, trap. It's that same. It's the same genre, but they, do they use that word? It, well, no, no, they don't. They don't use that word. However, there are a lot of the rappers. They rap in Greek, but they also throw English words in to make the raps rhyme. And it's like a it's like a mix of Greek, mostly Greek, but then with with English words inside to make it all, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. So it's basically music designed to confuse the fuck out of you. <laughs> yes, yes, it would, it would, it would. Right. But it's, it's great. So I follow that. I follow, you know, I mean, I follow a few things that I find interesting, but then you have this feed that's called FYP. It's like for you or whatever. And then I scroll and because, you know, mostly I look at women. So, so most of the stuff that they promote to me, I'm just being honest, folks. Yeah, I don't care if you don't like it, but I mean, a lot of you do it. You just don't want to fucking admit it. You pussies, <laughs> snowflakes. It's all because you're Trump supporters. Um, so uh, I'm scrolling and it just keeps feeding women. It just keeps, so, so then I'm like, okay, well, this is cool. And then I'm like, oh, wow. And then I, and then it's like, Click my sound. Oh, my God. I want to just punch the screen on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's like, you know, it's like you're taking care of yourself and you're not able to finish kind of like that. Um, oh, by the way, I, I forgot to mention, I think I have finally found the perfect gift for you. Have you? I think so. Oh, my I God. I think I did it this year. Good for you, buddy. I'm very, very proud. It only took you 10 years. <laughs> your Not your bad. gifts should be arriving sometime this week. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I didn't think it was going to be that that that. Uh, well, one of your gifts, but the, 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 I didn't think it was going to. I think I thought it was going to take longer because it's custom made. But apparently, mm -hmm. it's finished, so it's coming. And then me and Connie got you something for Christmas, but uh, we'll send that in Christmas. Well, we got to we got to stop doing that. We got we got just like just just call me, wish me a merry Christmas. That's all I want. Just you're just fucking just, cheap. Just That's your, all you are. Just your, it's just, just, your ongoing, <laughs> just cheap. Scrooge McBusardo. Just, just your ongoing friendship <laughs> and love is all I need. Really, Demi will accept two D flat Earth if he has to, but pulls a fit if he has to pay for two D flat titties. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, but listen, Bill. It's not even me, me paying the fucking six dollars. It's not that. It's not that. I'm not cheap. I, I yeah. If I was well, season two, I want to pay. But don't tease me like that. Don't bait switch me. Don't clickbait me like that. I don't like that. I would never pay for somebody that clickbaits like that. That's basically what I'm saying. Uh, I do not want to be trapped by a Greek. I watched Greek rap and bought a yellow gold uh, watch. <laughs> Damn, sis. <laughs> all right, we covered it all. I think we pissed off enough enough people. I'm going to need a replacement for peach tobacco from Lunar Rover pretty soon. Hit me up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's another one. You that's know what? I, I, I would like to get, if possible, I don't know if you can even do it anymore. I would like to get a liquid sponsor. Uh, only because obviously Inikin is our hardware sponsor, right? But if we need to send something to like Bridget's father, right? I I need I need some uh, some liquid. Yeah, that would be nice, but uh, I mean they're just uh, scarce at this. Uh, I mean I there's there's still a lot of companies shipping. I just don't know how they would feel about advertising uh, selling illegal products over the internet, but. 
but yeah, it would be nice to get somebody at least to get us some supply of tobacco and uh, and menthol. I still have a little bit here left, but it's it's depleting pretty quick. And um, yeah, not only is it depleting, but it's aging, right? So we can get dash vapes. That, that might be a bad idea. Dash vapes might be a good a uh, good one. It just uh, just takes a little bit longer to get to get here. That's the that's the only thing, you know. Or, I mean, just, I mean, if we had the stock and then we're 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 shipping it, so. Uh, Ricky Mahoney says, you actually thought you were going to get something for free? <laughs> Those are platforms to promote their OnlyFans. I, I get it, Ricky. I'm not dumb. I'm 50 years old with a pretty high IQ. I get it. That's, I said what bugs me. It's my pet peeve, I said. It's not that I don't understand what they're doing. It still bugs me. How did that I feel, by it. the way? It bugs me. <laughs> no, 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 not that. What? How did that feel coming out of your mouth that you're 50 years old? Uh, I yeah, I'm bothered. A little bit. I mean, you know, I feel like I'm 17, so I don't really care. Phil oh, and Demi, disclose if you brother. bought Zofi Vapes only fans. I did not. There's no nudity. If there was nudity, I'd buy it. I'm straight up honest with you, Brad. But who would pay for non-nudity only fans? Really? Silly. <laughs> I mean, that's just my opinion. Phil, how do you feel about that? Uh, paying for non-nudity? That's just silly. That's just silly. That's, that's, that's dumb. Why would you do that? <laughs> Could you uh, imagine if you paid and then you got on there and there was no nudity? Like, can you get a yeah, refund? You know, she, 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 she advertised that it's no nude. It's oh, spicy. Okay, right. It's spicy. Is I think the word spicy? spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what about like uh, Mike Vapes if he does uh, an OnlyFans? I would rather um, I would rather staple my <laughs> balls with rusty <laughs> staples than see Mike Vapes naked. <laughs> so <I was> like, <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> <laughs> Just keeping it real. Oh <laughs> shit, that's funny. Uh, Triton shut down their manufacturing. No, Triton's still producing products. Uh, Vic, maybe some of the brands did, but uh, they got to stay from the uh, from the court. So they're still they're still uh, manufacturing. I know I know Triton very well. I've worked with them in the past, and uh, yes. they manufacture for a lot of people. <laughs> Free Zofi vapes. Oh, by the way, that's the big news. Last story. We have to go. Uh, Britney Spears got got uh, freed in court last week after 13 years of conservatorship. She is now a free woman, Phil. Please don't talk to me about her. I'm telling you, we might have a chance. No, well, because she's got that guy. She, well, she likes older men. That, so what? She's Britney Spears. She's not committed to anybody. What are you talking about? She's got one was guy. Waiting, like, was, I was hoping she was going to lose it and shave her head again, and that was my... That was <laughs> That's what you're going to go put that shoulder on for, for it then. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I was going to be that guy to take care of her. Now, you know, I don't know. Britney Spears or Ivanka Trump? Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> ooh, that... Well, for what, though? Uh, I don't know. You're just going to go walk on the beach hand in hand. Of course, for what? Who would you bang? Uh, Ivanka yeah, Trump or Britney so, Spears? What so kind of question is that? What? You know what? It's got to be Britney. It's got to be Britney because Britney came before Ivanka. <laughs> Did she? In what way? <laughs> no, no, in my life. Oh, okay. In my life. You know I mean, oops, she did it again. You know, I just. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, baby, one more time. Absolutely. God. Her in the little, the little, uh, what do you call it? Little school go- girl outfit. Yeah, oh, that was God. hot. That was hot. Oh, my God. <sighs> so, Brittany, I got you. By the way, this is what Phil says. <laughs> this is why he says This is what Phil said. By the way, you did a fantastic job uh, you. on your uh, – I'm not – all jokes aside. And I'm going to have a lot of jokes. But but before, <laughs> <laughs> but, but before I go into the jokes, I just have to say that it looks absolutely stunning. I was so proud of it. I've never I've never wrapped trees before with lights. Yeah, it looks and good. I've always wanted to do it. It looks good. It looks. It looks. Uh, it looks very good. Now, Thanks, buddy. Can, I appreciate. Can, can I have my balls back from your yard? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, your balls are staying. And, and you know what? It was only a matter of time. As I was, I was reading through the comments today, and sure enough, somebody <laughs> like, "Hey, nice balls, Phil." I was like, "I, I knew that was coming. <laughs> was, uh, I knew that was coming." It's okay. I backspace so much on your post and i just said good job because it doesn't look good <laughs> but i guarantee you i backspaced at least 10 times because i had so <laughs> many jokes to put in there and i just i was like i'm not going to ruin this moment for him let him enjoy his christmas lights in florida and, and you know you what like I, I was i was i'm like i'm not going to turn them on until thanksgiving i'm not going to turn them on until thanksgiving i was just like i 
Cause I, you know, as I was putting them up, you know, I would keep plugging them in and make sure that they, you could, you hate that one bulb without, and then you got to change everything. <laughs> and, um, I, I just, I, I loved the way they looked so good. I'm like, ah, fuck it. I'm going to turn them on. There's other people around with, with light lights on already. So why not? That's crazy. Anyway, we said it all. I mean, we even covered Brittany for, for crying out loud. What else do you want? I would love to cover Brittany with my body. <laughs> Such a perv. But you know, unlike that, you're gonna be covering your trees with lights and putting fucking fertilizer in your lawn because that's your <laughs> life right now. It could be no Brittany in, in, in that scenario at all. All right, Phil, final thoughts, buddy. I don't have any final thoughts. I just I appreciate everybody watching tonight. Um, you know, thanks a lot to to Richard and Sean for getting us the uh the NALT. I, I wish you guys a lot of success and yes. luck with this. Uh again, you know, if you guys are interested as far as um distributing or carrying uh the the website for this is going to be uh on tasterjuice.com with the replay of this show right here so get a hold of them if you're interested um and i think that's about it and then you know of course and again um we'll be talking more about their products because that is what we do that is what we do and before i go please make sure to head over to dash vapes and get you some watermelon peach it's saving the planet ladies and gentlemen it's bringing it really is it really is you should try some soon on OnlyFans. uh thank you guys Uh, we certainly appreciate you hanging out Uh, we're gonna try to do one more show next tuesday i'm traveling to canada so i will not be here for sure we're not gonna do a show next tuesday we're gonna try to get one show in before christmas uh we do have a giveaway that feel completely forgot that's what you forgot we could do it let's do it you want to do it okay so here's the deal this is my bicycle my bike the odometer Okay. You guys know that I got the bike. uh, Let's see. September was the end of September when I got the bike, right? I was gone for two weeks uh, in, in France and then to Jersey on the next show without going over. What will my odometer reading? Because I got an odometer on the bike. Very excited about that. What will my odometer reading be on the bike without going over closest gets the prize and the prize will be a very nice prize pack from Anakin. Okay. Very, 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 very well said. All right, folks. Kind of cool. Kind of an interesting contest, right? That is kind of cool. And with that, switch to this and bid you farewell. I say that, uh, by the way, um, the closest without going over, leave it in the comments of this show right here. Okay. Now we could close. <laughs>